Hello. And oh, I'm supposed to say howdy now. I'm trying to say howdy for the openings of these videos because I'd love to get howdy into my lexicon because uh, I live in Texas and I think howdy's neat. So howdy and welcome to The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. I haven't recorded all year and hopefully it doesn't show. It, I, last I recorded was December 27th. That's, hey. that's a fun little joke for you. Uh, the last episode, we uh, we took to the Fortress of the Winds. We did not find the element of the winds, element of wind, uh, because the uh, wind tribe who used to live there uh, skedaddled, took the element with them, uh, assumedly. But we did get this ocarina of wind, which is even better than an element. Uh, it's, I guess... It's, you know what? I'm going to put my foot down. It's better because it gives us fast travel. Uh, so now we can use uh, fast travel to travel. Oh, I just noticed the background has uh, the bird who had a name. It was like Zeta or something. It started with the Z. It's Zelda. This is the, the Legend of Zelda. It's all about this bird. Um, we can travel to the uh, the sigils, the mind-rattling, bending, eldritch symbols that have plagued uh, Ezlo uh, for quite a while. Uh, those are actually fast travel points. Um, that we've been unlocking, but this one right here, we didn't actually unlock this one. This one comes pre-unlocked, and it's a nice little skip over here to Lake Hylia, where we can immediately get some rocks spat at us. Uh, we can see this little thing over there, which is a convenient thing, because if we were to come to our map, we can see that's where the element of water is, which is going to be our uh, next target, since we have no idea where the Wind Tribe took uh, the element of wind, so we might as well as, uh, work with what we know. Uh, but unfortunately for us, that uh, that little sheet of ice, which where the where the element is, surrounded by water, and our boy Locke does not know how to swim. So our our goal today is to get our boy some swim lessons. Uh, so we might as well just walk in here and see. You live by a lake. Can you teach me? Oh ho, a visitor! How rare! But you have found me the wisest of the wisest of the wise. A very smart menish. You you what? You want to enter the temple you can see in the lake? They call that place the Temple of Droplets. I have heard rumors that one Minish actually did find an old, did find a way in long ago. That Minish is Elder Library, and he is in semi-retirement in the town library. The library should be opening soon. Perhaps you can go find him. Elder Library, uh, conveniently in the library, although uh, maybe we could assume that rather than like, oh, we don't have uh, the piece to fuse with you. I think we had that piece once, but that was the piece that we used to fuse with. I can't play my thing while we're small, so I'll have to become big first. I think that was the piece that we gave to uh, the stranger to do that uh, that side quest that I was super worried about doing uh, promptly. Uh, and I will let you know when I'm pretty sure it's going to be too late to do that that quest. Uh, but Elder Library, Library in the library, uh, the library had been uh, inaccessible to us. Like I came over here and there was a there was a man standing in our way. But conveniently, story flag triggered, and now we're able to come inside the library. And we can speak to the librarians. Welcome to the library. Hey, aren't you the Smith's grandson? Lock the second. Enjoy your browsing. What about you? They probably don't know about the Minish, but we might as well ask them. I'm in charge of checking out books, so it's not my problem. Still, I feel real, really bad for the girl over there in charge of returns. Yeah, returns seems like it'd be uh, a rough thing to do uh, with, with people not returning books and stuff. This week's top titles. Number three, learn to like your like-like. A good guide to a bad pet. Gorman's Guide to Good Grub. We actually haven't met Gorman um, just yet. Uh, and number one, married to the moblin. Oh boy, in this workaday world, we're all kind of married to the mob. Lynn, when you think about it, and this is just the same thing. Uh, so Elder Library, um, rather than being like, oh, conveniently, the Elder Library lives in the library, maybe one could assume that uh, in, in Minish, like, um, I wonder what I should check out today. Uh, in the Minish world, rather than um, Klaus, uh, we do have your. Oh no! Nope. Right, well, I mean, I would, I would love to fuse. I would love to fuse with your pieces, but I have not played this game in um, an entire year, apparently. Oh, <laughs> the El the, I, I know the Ezlo's in the background, but just I kind of find like i was just like yeah, it's Ezlo in the background. But I kind of finally looked at it, and Ezlo looks really cute. Like eyes very big. God, I love Ezlo. Um, perhaps in, in the Minish world, uh, like, rather than, like, you, you hit a point where it's like, damn, I love libraries. I'm library now. And that's, that's just the way it is. And, oh, we summoned another golden rope. I didn't realize that there could be more than, uh, a single one. Weird. So, like, yeah, maybe, maybe Elder Library was like, I'm the master of the library now. I am library. Uh, and that's just the way it should be, baby. You should be able to pick out the name that works out the best for you. And we just got screamed at, um by um, 
this this old this old codger who actually um, is the NPC and uh, Wind Waker who would teach you how to use your sword and give you the sword on Outset Island. Uh, I believe if I'm I'm if I'm remembering correctly, I th- and I think I'll remember that noggin anywhere. Uh, sometimes these books move on their own. I've seen it with my own two eyes, and don't tell me I'm crazy. I ain't crazy. I believe you. You told me that. You just said it. You ain't crazy. Could a crazy person say they're not crazy? He's a sturgeon? I don't think so. Um, and we've confused our piece using our, our last of those red pieces, and the red pieces being a little bit rare. Um, not happy to see it go, but there it go, and it gone, and it um, uncovered another... another um, fountain and the castle and that's what we can actually get to in its entirety so that's uh, convenient uh and as we can see there's like little like i was gonna say ant tracks but we know they're menish but you know they, they look like like ant lions not ant lions ant li- like a line a queue of ant uh that they do uh so we can assume the menish are over here but unfortunately we can't just cram our face against the bookshelf and say hey menish where elder library tell me Tell me your secret, but it doesn't work like that. We have to get small to speak with them. Uh, because as we know, only good children uh, can see and speak with the Minish. And what makes you a better child than becoming this damn small? Uh, also, we can come down here. Uh, but there's not really anything we can do down here because we can't cross the road um, because to get to the other side. We can't cross the road because it's too big for us. We can see Minish over there. Um, there's just, there's just not much for us to do to come down here. I suppose if we had our swimming lessons, we could swim across, uh, the river, uh, jump in that little hole right there in the water, but we are unable to swim, which is why we're here in the first place. Why aren't you paying? We came here to learn how to swim. Why would you suggest I go swimming? Damn, pay attention. Hey, 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 this is no good. No good at all. The humans have checked some books out of the library. Thanks to them, none of us can get back to Elder Library. How will he get by all alone? I'm so worried. I'm sure the librarian knows something about where those books went. I wish I were big. That would make you a worse child, but you're not worried about that. You don't need to see Menish. You're already Menish. I don't know if b- being big would undercut your ability. I, I don't know. M- maybe it's a size thing. Who, who knows? Uh, I wish I were big. Why? I'd walk right up to her, right up and ask her where those books went. Uh, so the uh, library Menish have an infrastructure problem and their problem is they live on a bookcase uh where creatures much larger than them who don't know they exist are going to come and move books and be an asshole and disrupt their society uh we can't get up on the shelf because some human checked that book out but at least we don't have to listen to elder libraries boring old stories like learning how to swim it's some horse shit i don't want to know how to and i just use i think i just used that one maybe we didn't have that one i think that was the one that we fused with klaus downstairs uh, at the very least, we, we don't have it at the moment, so sorry, Menish. Gonna have to leave uh, and come back with some book. Some book that we don't have. Because we have we have our mission now. We gotta go find some books to fix the, the infrastructure for the uh, the library Menish. Uh, we saw a, a library Menish who had the like yellow clothes um, as opposed to just the normal town blue. And we know that you do return, so tell me about the books that you need. Mm -hmm. The book's missing from the bookshelf on the second floor. Yes, they've been checked out for quite a while. They're very overdue. Take a Hylian bestiary, for example. Been gone for ages. Bestiary? That word always confuses me, because I always say bestiary, because you put... Beasts are in bestiaries, but it doesn't have an A like beast, so it's like, maybe it's bestiary. Bestiary actually does sound pretty good. Checked out by... A girl with a cat. She said she had a new cat at her house. Wanted to learn more about it, she did. So she checked out the damn monster book that tells you about Octorox and, and them. And she's looking at it and she's like, Damn, kitty, you hear about these acro, acro bandits? They're sick. Look at them. I'm going to go get one of them and they can be your friend from now on. We did meet a, a girl with a cat uh, when we were checking out the city. And we can... We can assume it, w- it was our friend in here since it has triggered a cutscene. Hmm? Say, look at that long the second. There's... A book up on top of that bookcase, but how are we going to get it? We can't reach it, and we have no ladder, so now we have to go find a ladder. Well, you don't have to find a ladder. And I don't think just shaking the bookcase will make it fall, either. So stop thinking that if you've played A Link to the Past or A Link's Awakening. It's not going to work. You can't shake that bookcase. This presents an interesting problem, wouldn't you say? Yeah, because we can't just roll into it. We can't. We can't do the Pegasus boots, I promise you. For some reason, even though there's very clearly a track here, we can't push or pull this. It's not like you got to run into it from a different answer. Uh, and the kitty, unfortunately. 
does not want to speak to us. Not at all. I was gonna, I was gonna say that the cat doesn't have any uh, thing to offer us other than a meowing meow, which does not help us at the mom moment. Dear mom, I'll be next door if you need me. I okay. Well, we can go next door. We can come in next door and find an arf and also uh, the girl we were looking for. Huh? A book from the library. A highly a Hyrulean, not Hylian, a Hyrulean. Uh, that's interesting. A Hyrulean beast, a bestiary. Is that the one? Yeah, I checked it out a while ago. You came all the way to get it? Wow, you're one dedicated librarian. But I don't know how to tell you this, but it's back at my house. I don't carry my books around with me everywhere I go. Would you mind going there to get it? I just can't leave right now. See? Yeah, I see. You're thinking about mysteries with this guy. They say the king's been weird lately, but that doesn't really have anything to do with our love. You want to fuse kinstones? Sure, I love that more now. Oh, oh, Romeo, Ro oh, Romeo, where art thou, Romeo? Which is a Shakespeare thing because I remember who Shakespeare is, and I didn't forget his name this time. If you're listening, I remember who Shake. I, I didn't forget. Who I never forgot who Shakespeare was. I just forgot his name for a solid 16 seconds at one point, and I, I remember it now. Um, and, uh, I'm, I'm so glad that, uh, we, we, uh, yeah, good luck for us. Um, I'm glad that we got to learn, uh, that this fellow's name is Romeo, because that reminded me that, uh, her name is Julieta, and, um, I was about to go back over to her house, because I was like, yeah, yeah, we gotta, gotta go back over there. Um, but we know, we can't, we can't get to that book, and we, we've done this song and dance before trying to figure out how to get over there, but as you can see, there's a, there's a plank right across the, from one house to the other, so the lovers can climbing through the chimneys and i guess smooch on the roof at night or whatever but unfortunately this chimney is lit and none of our powers can extinguish fire we can't swing sword we can't gust at it air does not put fire out i mean sometimes you can blow on fire and put it out but also fire love air you can't flip fire over you can't boomerang fire can we drop a bomb i can't defend myself against fire if i if i got caught on fire it's over i can't fling the coals out of the thing and put the fire out I can drop a damn bomb in your house. It's probably not going to do anything. Uh, we can sing to the fire. Not going to put the fire out. The fire, even immune to bow. Can you do bomb arrows in this? I doubt you can do bomb arrows in this game. Yeah, I, I don't think you can. You can't bomb arrow in this game. Uh, I didn't remember it being uh, a functional, but you know, might as well check. So, fire. Fire is our foe at the moment. But as as you know, we have these handy dandy little friends called the bottle uh so we can just come over here and get some water in our bottle a good old water bottle as some people would would say and put it that way but uh this isn't just a water bottle this bottle multifunctional just happens to contain water at the moment and now the uh the fire is gone we're, we're down one fairy but it's fine because i will never die in this video game because i'm such a good gamer and by that i mean the final boss i'm um, i'm sweating it uh and just hoping that i was bad at the game as a child whoa did you see that or, or, whoa, did you see that cat looking at me? I know it wants a piece of me. Well, I'm still going to go over to the kitty anyways, because I would love to. Oh, the cat just smacked me. The cat doesn't Cat doesn't want to speak? Cat just want to smack? Sss. Oh, the cat is going to smack at us, but not only can we speak to it. <laughs> Rawr, would you like to fuse kinstones? Meow. Scratcher. Oh, Scratcher, you definitely have lived up to your name, um, but only to things smaller than you, you fucking coward kitty. You're still a good little kitty. Your green eyes are very cute. I can't. St oh, I was never actually mad at you, but I did. I did call you a fucking coward, and I, I apologize. I'd give you p pets and scritches uh, if I could, uh, but you're going to attack me, so I'm going to escape. Wow, that really startled me. Everything's scary when you're small, bro. We know that you're like. Well, I was gonna say, bro. We know you're minish, so like, this is like your, this is normal for you. But I mean, I guess like that just goes to prove like like uh, Ezlo knows what he's saying. Like, yeah, it's scary to be small. Um, it's interesting though that we can see like, we can see that it looks like you should be able to push the, the bookshelves. I don't remember if that's a thing for later, like uh, once, uh, we, we, uh, find the, the, um, the shelf pushing magic spell, if, if we'll be able to come back and push these shelves or if that's just some strange design, maybe it's supposed to be like, um, in libraries they have like shifting, uh, I've never actually been to, actually, now I think about it, I think the college i graduated from had a library like that but i never went up to that floor of the library because i'm not a nerd who reads 
I'm an idiot who doesn't read, unfortunately. Um, but they have like shifting like bookshelves. Perhaps that's the idea. It's like a space saving thing. So it's like, you know, just put these two shelves in front of each other and you just shift them around to get to the one that you need. Doesn't seem very space efficient in that scenario though, but what do I know? Hey, look at that. Our long lost copy of a Hyrulean bestiary. It's so weird that it's not Hylian, but Hyrulean. Lock the second, are you returning this book? Thank you so much. I can't wait. I can't begin to describe how much I'm looking forward to putting this back. <laughs> she does the thing. Uh, that's good. I always, it's such a small joy, but I love whenever NPCs do the, you got the thing. It's, it's nice. Ah, yes, of course, Legend of the Picori. It's been out forever. It was checked out by a somewhat absent-minded scholar, I believe. And I believe we, we did meet an, an absent-minded scholar. Or I'm going to say, I'm 100% sure that we, we we spoke to this fella before. Uh, and we actually, now that I've come down here, we don't have any means of... No, we, we do have means of becoming small. I believe that the... Yeah, here we go. You can always trust a carpenter. Carpenters, do all of you want to fuse? Not all of you, just the the, the head, the cat guy and other games you want to fuse. Kinstones, let's go. Uh, we don't have that one. Sorry, Muto. What about you? I hope they fit indeed. We do have that one. Thank you, Brent. Can all, thank, thank you. You know, Muto and Brent, they're, they're, they're a pair. They're in love. I don't have anything to support that. But Muto and Brent are in love. And you, I don't think there's enough text in game to say that I'm incorrect. So you can't say I'm wrong either. So I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. There was a Minish up here who wanted to fuse. Uh, they might have just been like, yeah, I love construction, bro. I don't remember if they wanted to fuse. They do have a... God, the the, the night piece is so cute. The little smile on, on, on the horsey. Very, very good. Uh, but we come over here. Now that we're tiny, uh, we can come in here. We can see uh, Dr. Left's house. Uh, I guess there was not really much point into coming in here. Uh, because we know uh, that there's no book. Well, we... I was going to say we haven't seen a book, but he's, he's reading a damn book. But we came in here and we spoke to uh, the clues that reveal the location of a treasure crossing uh, the, the... We got across the river and then the beasts and Misty Falls, whatever. Um, so, yeah, there's, no, there's nothing we can immediately do because we can't enter uh, Dr. Left's house uh, in big form uh, because if we become big form, um, it just it, it, it just don't go. That, that, uh, that dog don't hunt. And that's just the way it is. Because he won't let us in. He's like, hey, go away. Please stop. Please, just please stop. Uh, so we were told uh, that we had to uh, cross like a bridge. And then we need to go through the land of ferocious beasts. Which I think actually is talking about the the upstairs over there. Uh, so we need to find a means of becoming small uh, on, on the over there. Uh, because I don't think there's a way of getting up here like from here um like we see dr left's house does have like a chimney that we could potentially go oh you yeah, can we can we use our bottle when we're small it does not seem like we can use our bottle when we're small um hmm yeah i, I don't re i don't like i said it's been a long time since i played this game but we might as well as like put some more water in our bottle not like we're using it for anything at the moment anyways uh and if we ever come out come across like something better, I could always just dump it out. Um, so I, I don't think there's a means of becoming small up here, is there? Uh, I feel I feel like we might have become small up here, because I think we went into um, that, 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 that little Minish house, right? Maybe we didn't get into that Minish house. Um, hmm. Yeah, what do, what do we need to do? Because we... Maybe I should listen closer to the thing other than just being like, yeah, cross a bridge, land of the beasts, whatever. Um, maybe uh, I was under undercutting it, uh, what we actually needed to do. Or maybe we can just come in here and just dump some water, but we're very small. There's a lot of fire, and I'm not even able to dump my water out anyways. So it's it's no go. It's no good. Uh, let's, let's go listen to the clues again. I'm sorry, everybody. I, I want to know the clues. Cross the bridge that spans the rapid flow. Through the land of the fearsome beast, until you reach the Misty Falls, the treasure sleeps on the other side of the secret entrance there. It's a magical tool that allows even little people to push big things. And the legend starts from this house. It's a very localized legend. Uh, a legend of localization. One, that, that actually didn't work the way I thought it would. Sorry. Uh, I, I tried. I tried. I failed. That's just that's just the way the, the cookie crumbles sometimes. 
Uh, so we, we do need to... I know where we need to go in in the end, uh, and it does even matter. I just don't know uh, the means to that end. I'm pretty sure we already fused with you peep peep, but... You know, you might you gotta check in with your peeps, see if they're they're doing good. Because sometimes your peeps not doing good and they need a little bit of a check-in. Uh, I may have to do a little bit of poking around uh, for this one. Because I'm pretty sure that we attempted this. Uh, but we weren't able to make it like come Oh, there's a, a diggy wall here. We should dig the hell out of that diggy wall. Uh, we'll do that when we get big. Um uh, at the moment we're small. Could not could not dig through that. Uh, even if I wanted to. Oh, something I was interested in uh, was Percy, uh, Percy the Poet Laureate, um, talking about losing their kinstone uh, in the end. And I was like, is that a thing I missed? Apparently that red kinstone we picked up is like a thing tied to that. So it's like a little hint that you can go get like a, a nice kinstone or something. So we should probably go back to Percy at some point and be like, hey, we found your kinstone, but then uh, we eated it as um, an early, early memes. Meme? You, yeah, meme, whatever, everything, everything's a damn meme, it doesn't matter. Yeah, this does not seem to be uh, the answer to the question that I had uh, answered, not answered, asked. Oh, hey, this place is open, I did not realize. I think we can get a heart piece for, for doing that. It's a mini game in Zelda, they normally have heart pieces. Uh, and also, it's, it's like a mini game we can do. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but we'll, we'll try it out at some point, even if it's not uh, worth a damn thing uh, for us. Yeah, it doesn't seem like this is going to be the way. It seems like we need to be able to put out the fire for uh, Dr. Left's house uh, to be able to uh, advance. Unless there's just a thing over here I can do. There's another ministry we can speak to. I want to dive into the fountain, but I'm not such a good swimmer. Well, let me tell you about Elder Library, who apparently knows how to swim. And is one of the few people who know how to swim. Since, like, surely other people know how to swim. You know, like, I know in, like, ye old times, like, swimming, like, wasn't, like, a thing that people knew how to do, like, widely or, or whatever. Um, um and but, but, like, you know, like, surely there's got to be an easier way. Like, our only hint was we, we went close to the lake, asked the first minish we saw, and they told us about a minish who could help us. Huh? What? A book from the library? Ah, yes, of course. I knew this day would come. Please come in. Okay, once we had... Uh, leverage we were able to enter uh, dr left's house i had forgotten that point i am a researcher of pecoria legend and lore my name is dr left you're here about that book legend of the pecoria are you well i hate to say this but i haven't seen it in several days perhaps a mischievous little mouse has taken it or i mean you, you know about the man? okay well i'm sure it's in this house somewhere i just don't know where but i'm very busy right now so why don't you go look for it yourself damn very rude very rude indeed. But luckily, now that we're big, we can put... Oh, that actually doesn't help us, does it? I was going to say, haha, now that we're big, we can just push us. But the game has pulled a little joke on us. Because now that we're big, we can easily push these. But even though we have the ability to pull in this game, we can't pull these. And there was not enough space for Lonk to, to cram his... I was going to say dump truck ass, but we know Lonk's just a skinny little bitch. So nothing can be done about that. Uh, but, but Lonk... Despite being, uh, you know, scrawny, as has been described by me, I guess. There's nothing in game to say uh, Lonk's like a beefcake and or otherwise. But, you know, now we're small. We can, we can fit in this spot, but we can't we can't push. Um, but, you know, Lonk, Lonk didn't fit. Now, that was the entire point I was trying to make. Uh, hey, what's up? I really like this house. This is the best place in the whole human town. I want to stay here forever. And I hope you get to stay here forever. I wish no ill will on you, Town Minish. I hope that we can continuously talk in this best place in human town and fuse kinstones uh, in perpetuity. Per, per, perpetuity. Per, perpetuity. Whatever. I'm just going to stick with... Oh, does that go... Okay, well, we got a... We got a, a little kin... Uh, no, a little kinstone. We got a little... um. What are, what are those things called? Lily pads. Lily pads. We got a lily pad that'll help us in the Castor Wilds uh, if we were to ever go back. Hey, I've heard about you, so you're, you're going to go ahead, are you? Well, onward to glory then. Just don't die out there, okay? Damn. Okay. Sounds like it's going to be a real rough one, one. A rough one, like dogs, which are not the animal that we're about to uh, approach. Oof. Ah, it's no good. I just can't get anywhere, man. Oh, man. Yeah, that's... 
the land of ferocious beasts. And I don't even know if these ferocious beasts are going to want to fuse with us. So we got a we have a sneaking mission uh, with the world's most dangerous predator. As you saw, they don't even want to speak to us. They just they just want to strike us. Uh, but we've made it past them, and we can now enter the the little hole with the the legend, and we get Huad at who nude. Who, who knew? Who knew there'd be some place like this behind one of the town's fountains? Well, let's get moving and see if we can find that item those Minish mentioned. Min, min, Minish didn't. You know? So we'll, we'll kill the slug, you guys. Uh, there is a piece of heart over there. Uh, so something I was uh, attempting to mention, like ages ago uh, about the sword that I don't think I ever got off is something that I find interesting is the sword power-ups in this game because you know the the sword um, powers up the the white sword uh, powers up every single time we get one uh, get a new element but I don't know if it's oh I forgot the way about rock breaker oh fairy I suppose I could have uh, uh, trapped you but I don't think to do that um so, like, typically in Zelda games, whenever you power up your sword, it, like, deals more damage or whatever. I don't know if it, that's entirely the case in this game. Uh, just some blue moldozers. Hardly a mini-boss, if you ask moi. Um, like, our sword definitely became more powerful and it became the white sword. But I don't know if it, like, increased in power from, like, the green version to the red one. Uh, so I don't know if every single element makes it hit harder. I doubt it. I it's probably just gives us the ability to do the, um... Uh, duplication thing, you know, uh, you got the power bracelets. You're filled with strength even while tiny. Thank you. We're now Jacked to the gills uh, on our bracelets. Good old power bracelet. A Legend of Zelda classic uh, So now we can push the we can push the big things and now that we got uh, the ability to can I just jump? Off? No, we cannot just jump off there. We have to brave the danger land once again uh, so we're going to have to outsmart these kitty cats and uh, the spacing between these uh, flower pots Always makes me think, like, oh, we'll be able to just slip on out through one of these, but unfortunately not the case. Huh? You made it? No way. Yep, we managed to do it. We're the 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 chosen hero, not the hero of time, though. A lot of people, a lot of people say, oh, like they'll be like, oh, Link, the hero of time, regardless of what game it is. But that's not the case. You made it through that den of evil and came back alive. Amazing. Woo, woo. Thank you. <clears throat> so. We got the power bracelets, so I'm interested to see if we'll be able to go back to Julieta's house uh, and push her damn uh, um, bookcases around. Not that it probably won't be useful, but I want to see if we can do it, or if it's just some like set dressing um, that's a little confusing to me. Here we go. We come upstairs, and we find uh, some Minish uh, with a lot of books. More than one book. Hmm, I see. Oh, that makes sense. Human books are so interesting. That guy, Dr. Left living down there has <clears throat> great taste and reading material and we can walk safely across this book it's a bit dusty up here huh maybe i should do a little cleaning you probably should also i thought all the town um minish wore the blue clothes based off of the um when we went to like that little minish restaurant and the the forest one was like i like their blue hats uh, but it looks like they just wear that this like style of dress and then um, it could be whatever color, which is fun. You know, y you love to see a lot of colors. Big fan of colors, I would say. Ho, oh, ha, hey, phew. I want to return this book by dropping it down below. It's impossible without some extra weight here. My brother's so busy with a book of his own, he won't help me out. Maybe I can do it if I try again. Well, just, I don't know, go eat a food, my man. There's like big human food that you can eat that will probably be a lot of food for you. Is this not doing it? Do we not just stand here? Do I gotta walk? <laughs> it's like, do I walk farther to push harder? That didn't seem to be doing the uh, doing it either. So I guess both Lonk and this Minish gotta like yummy down on like an apple core. There's probably like an apple core up here. There's always like an apple core up here. Or I guess realistically, we could also just push one of the other things over here uh, and do it. What do we have? We don't have like the ability to jump or anything. I'm standing on the book. I thought this would do it. I'm giving you, I'm giving you the extra weight. I can plop a bomb down. Plopping a bomb down is not the answer, though. But I'm gonna do it regardless. Like the book does seem to to jiggle more once we get out there. I, I, is it just like we gotta wait and I'm being impatient? I don't feel like I'm being impatient. Um, I feel I feel like something probably should have happened. Do we gotta go like talk to one of these men? Be like, hey, help, help. Help. 
What about you? Help. Hmm. No help is being offered. Um. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Let's go talk to Downstairs Menish. Maybe Downstairs Menish has a cool idea for us. Ah, what should I do? Should I stay or go? If I go, there could be... What's that? You've already found the bracelet that makes one strong? Ah, I knew it. I've been stumped on that for so long, I knew I'd lose out. Hey, give me one of your, like, dice or whatever. Come upstairs with me. Somebody help me out. What am I doing here? I'm missing something. Stop reading the book. Go help your brother. Help. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm what I'm missing here. Uh, I may have to like play around. Like, well, diggy. If I diggy, like, 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 obviously, it's not just that. Like, do we gotta stand in like a specific spot to like, like, match the spot so it like the weight? I, I don't think it, it works like that. Uh, if we get, yeah, I was like, we can't go any farther across the edge. So I'm not really sure what I'm doing wrong here. Uh, we were told to find extra weight, and we're we're extra weight. We're oh, I figured I figured it out. I figured it out. I'm so smart. I'm so so smart. I was like, what am I gonna do? But I wasn't cleaning up the dust because I was like, who cares? Whatever. It is dusty. But we were even told like, oh boy, it sure is dusty up here. I should probably do something about that. Hey, we ha we can duplicate ourselves, baby. Which actually. This, uh, this is going to raise some questions uh, for me, uh, because we can duplicate ourselves, but I was assuming that it was like a magic, I mean, obviously it's a magic thing, but I wasn't assuming like that this thing has like physical form. Like obviously we've been able to push before, um, like push blocks, um, and have we been able to push blocks? We've been able to do, s yeah, 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 because like we would team up and our added strength would push. Um, so these like duplicates aren't like mere images. It's it's it has physical form and stuff to it. Like it's magic, so I shouldn't be questioning it. But at the same time, I'm like, whoa, damn, that's more. Ma can I drown on this? I can drown on that little square. Neato. Um, okay, well that that goes to show you. Sometimes you gotta clean your damn uh, your damn rafters. Oh look, you found it. Could I ask you to return the book for me, lad? Yes, you can ask, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna do it. I, I am good. I am going going to do it. Not for you though. I'm doing it because I need to learn how to swim. Learning how to swim would be very good for me. Oh my goodness! Will you look at that? It's our copy of Legend of Bakori. It's been checked out for so long. Long the second. You deserve a medal for all this. I am moved deeply, deeply moved by this thoughtful gesture. I wish it made the da da da, -da instead of the da da da, -da you know puzzle. Um, and the last book we still need is A History of Masks. I think it was checked out by Hagen, the mayor. How could he keep a library book so long? He's a public official. Yeah, he should go to jail. You should arrest your mayor. You should, arre you should arrest your public officials if they do wrong things. Just a cool opinion that I just, just thought of off the top of my head. Um, there's a lot of, lot of, you know, I believe in like, uh, uh, jails. Jails shouldn't exist. Jails are bad. But, uh, you know, maybe... Throwing tomatoes, we, we could figure something out, you know. We could we could figure out a punitive system uh, for dealing with uh with numbnut politicians. I I think we could. I think I think we could figure something out, you know. I think we think we could do it. I think we could do it. Uh, we it, I mean, it would be good and it would work. Little, little baby tectite. Uh, don't I don't know if the the small spiders uh, have uh, enemy name. Well, there's some there's some pretty damn good goodies down here. I was gonna, I was gonna say damn good goodies wasn't the what I was expecting to say, um, and the the uh, usage of good uh, twice uh, threw me off. God, I love the moments. It's just very satisfying to dig through uh, the dirt like this. Like you don't have to dig through every single block. Uh, and I'm not going to, but sometimes, you know, some of them look suspicious. Just digging through feels so good, and I, I love... Oh, well, we're not able to dig here, but I, I gave it that old college try uh, regardless. And uh, we, we've uh, checked all those walls that I, I wanted to check for, for reasons uh, that we'll, we'll talk about or whatever. Oh, and this is the... Um, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. This actually leads us to Mayor Hagen's house uh, if we're able to traverse this labyrinth uh, efficiently, um, which we, we probably won't be able to since we uh, are we able to pull we, we're not able to push uh, pull these boulders. Uh, those are pushy boulders only, uh, and this isn't actually going to lead us to the mayor's house after all. This uh, little like sewer, uh, hidey safety like bunker thing uh, that the mayor gets and is in the mayor's backyard. 
Um, so we can assume the mayor's not, uh, not, not up to, probably not up for sharing. Where the hell's the exit? Did I? Okay, yeah, it's over here. I, for a second, I thought I, I, yeah, here we go. I couldn't see it, uh, based on the way that the, this area, like, shows up. It's very neat, like, the, the, like, yeah, the, the effect that just happened, like, with, like, the, the world going dark and then, like, uh, kind of, like, removing the top. Oh, God. Like, the transition, like, transition's the only word I got. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like, there's a name for that effect on I can't think of it off the top of my head. Ahem. Yes, that's me, Hagen. I am mayor of this town. What's that? You want a book? A history of masks? And you say I checked it out, do you? Yes, indeed, I did. Or wait, did I? Ah. <sighs> Boy, politicians, huh? Are we able to, um, like, remove the masks off your... Yeah, there we go. Let's get rid of some masks. Um, assuming... Oh, uh, thank you so much for a five rupee. I'm guessing that this is probably just going to lead to a little minish hidey hole where uh, a minish will be like, um, oh, hey, bro, I know where the, the, the mayor's uh, got the goods. I, off the top of my head, do know where the mayor's goods are. Um, I'm cheating, I know. I, I, I do remember that one. Uh, but, you know, maybe there'll be more to that, and I'll get confused, like, using the ability of our cool sword that we got. Um, oh, they, they got little, they have stamps for pictures, that's so cute. The mayor took off t uh, for his cabin by the lake, clutching a book we saw him go, but after the chest was opened, the road to the Minish Woods was blocked. You won't be able to get through, ah, that's fine. When the mayor came back, he didn't have that book anymore. I'm sure he just left it at his lakeside cabin. He's pretty pretty forgetful like that. You want to go to the cabin by the lake? Well, let me just mark it here on your map. Er, yes, there. It's right here. You should be able to find him now. It probably didn't say find him. It was probably find it, because it was talking about the book um, and or the cabin, uh, as opposed to, um, you know, the mayor, because mayor right there. Uh, and we can assume that the we can assume that the book probably isn't sentient. sentient. Sometimes they are. You know, you get your you, you get your, your grimoires, your 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 near your nears. You know, the the book, the, the grimoire, that friend, um, and also just vi video gaming, um, where where things do that. They do that crazy thing where they they can they're sentient or whatever. Have we ever tried to push this one? I don't know if this is a twofer. Nope, two is not enough to, to push that. So the mayor's a little bunker will continue to be a, a mystery uh, to us for the time being. For the time being, nothing happening with that bunker. However, uh, it is time to get a, a mosey on over to, um, to to Lake Hylia, which I uh, uh, suppose we can just call our friend the Legend of Zelda, the bird, because uh, the bird's name was like Zeta or whatever. I don't remember. So it's the Legend of Zelda now. That's who you are. Um, to me, I'm so, I'm sorry. Uh, let's actually check the actual map, because uh, the mayor's cabin over in that corner. Uh, so we probably won't be able to connect to it from this side. So that probably wasn't the best place to fly to, actually. Um, yeah, we are, we didn't make, we didn't make much progress. We're gonna have to go through the whole um, rigmarole of. Have we not come in here? Oh, we've come in here. Okay. Does that lead upstairs? How do we get upstairs? How do we get upstairs? Actually, I think I think we get upstairs not by going through here. I think we gotta go go around. Uh, hit me with one of those good moves. Thank you. Uh, just just to keep the spirits up as we barely manage to avoid getting hit by a rock. Oh yeah, I guess there's that golden rope we can go deal with. Not a big deal. Not soup worried. Um, not worried about soup. Could go for some soup. Would love some soup, actually. Uh, but we need to go to a different part of the Minish Woods. Uh, actually, now I think about it, I don't think we need to do this at all. Because this is going to take us to um, to Syrup Town, USA. And that's not particular, we're particular, particularly... God, words are so damn hard. Uh, oh, nope, I canceled it way too early. Uh, whoops. I was like, yep, going to drop now because I'm good. Uh, but, you know... Sometimes impatience gets the best of us, unfortunately. Uh, and as we all know, I am the best of us, and it's very unfortunate. Damn, I thought this was thought this would connect back to the other side of the woods. What a ripoff! Oh, oh, here we go. I guess it did lead us back around. We took we took the long way. I'm sorry. Um, I've, I feel like Minish Woods should connect a little bit better. Um, 
And it and it will, like we know that it will once oh the golden ropes are there. We might as well slay it. Uh, we have room for the two hundred rupees it drops. Um Oh, you know what? While we're here, let's uh, I'm gonna dig up their garden. Up oh, oh, thank you very much. I'm going to dig up their garden because they said sometimes they dig up uh kinstones and shit, so I'm just gonna spend uh spend a little bit just digging up their entire garden. You know I'm helping them out really, because they're trying to dig it up. I would say everything I just picked up, but I'll just I'll do that part in editing, baby. Thanks, pal. I feel like a lean, mean, earth-tilling machine. What about you? Rock, rock, rock and roll. Nope. Nothing to say. Can we open this? Is there a means of opening this gate? I would like to open this gate, if possible. Oh, we scared, scared uh, <laughs> the rope. I'm going to blow up your gate. Y'all, open your damn gate. I want out. I could not blow up your gate. I don't have the means to interact with gate either. Hmm, that's unfortunate. There's probably a way to open this gate, uh, and I just don't know. Oh uh, yeah, we got a few kinstones, which is nice. Always got to refill our, our thing, and we get to see that cool effect again. So I suppose we'll get to see that anytime we dig into one of those diggy walls. Oop. Oh, and the tech tech. Oh, boy, I wish I remembered the name of this enemy. Because uh, now that it's jumped on me and, like, weakened me like that, um, I couldn't use my sword while it was on top of me. I think I might know. Like, like I have, like, a, an inkling um, splatoon, you know? Of, of what enemy it is, but I don't know its name off the top of my head. So there's this weird mark on this wall, which is why earlier I was digging through um, all of the, the, that wall in town uh, as we pass by, because this is a mysterious wall. We can't talk to it, but we can fuse kinstones with it. And these mysterious walls are an interesting uh, side quest of sorts. Like I suppose anytime you do kinstones, it's a side quest. But the, uh, the Mysterious Walls are one of my favorites. <sighs> no, it's no good. I can't break it by myself. Because when you fuse with a Mysterious Wall, you enact the power of friendship. And you introduce new Gorons into the world. I had a strange feeling like a fellow Goron was in need. Hello? Goro? Hmm? That wall? You can't get through that all alone. I'm coming to help you. Don't worry, I'm here to help you. Let's break through that wall together, Goro. And now that they're together, they can punch faster and better. And they got two of them. And God, Gorons are so good. Um, I'm normally a, a big proponent. Like, I love big bulky characters. Uh, tend to be my, my favorite designs. Um, one of my favorite things uh, for character designs is when they got like big ass forearms, like Popeye arms, uh, like like a Frankie from a One Piece. Um, love that that kind of arm. Uh, but the um, Gorons are very funny, and that they're they're big, bulky like creatures. But they got like little like string bean arms and legs, uh, and it's very cute and fun. Um, and uh, we were uh, we we got distracted on our library quest. Get out of here, Acker Bandits! Shoot, unless you drop a kinstone, I want nothing from you. Um, also, we need to go ahead and deal with this rope. Oh, this is going. Please don't just spawn yourself with your your insane movement. We got we to gotta stick on this, this uh, that's, that rope like stink. Because, you know, ropes are very stinky, as everybody knows. And we're not we're not, not going to discuss that any further. Um, because, actually, how, how do we get the mayor's damn house now that I think about it? Because I was thinking about what we could do. I was like, yeah, we come over here. Uh, and then from here, I was like, this will probably connect uh, over there. But I don't know that it will, actually. We may have come over here for nothing. Anything we can pick up while we're over here. Uh, there's stuff we could do in Minish Town. Uh, can I... Is there a way to scroll like from like one map to the other? Because we need to get to that cabin. How do we get to that cabin? Maybe there's something I was missing. Because yeah, it's like that cabin's surrounded by water. Um, and as you know, unable to swim at the moment. That's the reason we're on this very quest. Um... Something was dropped. I just heard the, the noise. I'm assuming it's going to be like, yeah, one rupee. But you never know if it's going to be a kinstone. I assume the kinstone probably has a different dropping noise. This is kind of what I was thinking of. Like, there's diggy walls over here. Perhaps these diggy walls uh, will take us to where we want to be. Um, like, we can see a, a diggy... Oh, like-likes. Oh, and these are just normal like-likes. We've, uh, we've been seeing the rupee likes uh, before we saw a normal like-like. Very strange. Oh, and this doesn't look like it's going to get us anywhere. It just looks like it's just more money. Uh, which, um, oh, and a kinstone piece, that's not bad. Uh, which I think, I'm going to assume 999 is our cap. Uh, so we can always just go back to town uh, and use our 
our rupees if it starts looking like we're going to fill up. And also, how many secret seashells do we have? Oh, nowhere near close, because there's a 999 cap on uh, seashells as well. Um, that, uh, that you know, could, put, could compose a problem. Um, if, if we were to, to cap out, then we'd be wasting seashells if we ever picked them up. All right, so this didn't work out the way I thought it would. I was assuming that something around here would loop back. Like, I was thinking about, there's the, um... Uh, there was, like, little holes, like, in that area with the, the water up in the kind of upper right of the woods. I was thinking, like, yeah, we go over there, and then we can probably, um... Freaking... One of those will take us, but we can't get in there because we can't swim. Um, so that's a problem. How about you? Oh, this is where the fairy is. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, fairy, not going to help us at the moment. Even if the fairy were to offer us uh, a full heal or something, we don't need it. We're very healthy at the moment. Incredibly healthy. That's not the issue here. The issue here is not our health. Uh, the issue here is finding a damn way over to the place we need to get to. Um, yeah, this just loops us back to, to ranch. We don't need to get to ranch. We need to stay in lake. And this takes us to woods. Is there something we could do in the woods over here? Oh, you know what? It's still probably the diggy hole because we saw the diggy hole from, yeah, the other angle. Here we go. This is probably what we're supposed to do because we can go up there. That'll take us to, up to Syrup's house. But now that we're in here, we're at a different angle. Maybe this will take us a, a secret way uh, that's secret and shit um, over to the mayor's house, uh, which will be good and help us out. Do you notice that the people who have uh, cabins by the lake are the merchant and the the uh, politician i almost forgot how to say the word politician instead of politician like like i was gonna say like politic like polit politics but and then try and say the ishin part and it was just it was gonna come out bad uh, i don't even know how it was gonna come out bad oh and hey another uh, mysterious wall boom baby let's get another goron in the mix um i don't remember how many of these mysterious walls there are um but this is a a side quest with a pretty good reward uh it will take a couple fusions uh to help these Gorons dig their wall, or dig through the wall, I suppose. They're, they're digging a hole, digging a cave, um, by smashing some walls, which is the good thing to do. Hmm, this wall is pretty tough. I don't think just the two of us can break it, but that doesn't mean we're going to stop trying, Goro. And uh, luckily for us, we, we, we've summoned some help. I don't think this is going to bring in two Gorons, though. I think it's just going to bring in the one, so it may be a while before they can smash this next wall. I thought I smelled some Gorons around here. What are you guys up to? Hey, give us a hand breaking through this wall, Goro. Gorons love to break through walls. Uh, but unfortunately, they're going to need uh, one more Goron to get through that wall. As you can tell by the conveniently placed <laughs> Goron uh, symbols on the floor. That's just a Goron cave. Uh, Gorons, you know, they're rock people made out of rock. Uh, and thus, the Earth uh, respects them and shows them what they're supposed to do with their lives. Well, with those little symbols that look like them. Uh, revealing, like, hey. You need this many Gorons to accomplish this task. And really, isn't that the, like, ideal, like, scenario you want to be able to be like, hey, uh, I need, if I only had this many me's, I could get a thing done. Boy, I sure have thought about how nice it'd be to have multiples of myself basically every single day of my life since, like, middle school or whatever. It's like, damn, it'd be nice to have a second one. Hagen's words of wisdom. If you can't solve a problem, just ram headlong into it. Bam. Ah, okay, so we're going to solve uh, this one. We couldn't solve Julieta's problem. Uh, excuse me? I was going to say, we couldn't solve Julieta's problem uh, by doing Legend of Zelda. But we're not doing Legend of Zelda here at all. No, no, no. no. Not at all. Oh, you know what? They're t I, 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 I understand uh, Hagen. Hagen's not talking about running into that doing a Legend of Zelda. Hagen's talking about destroying uh, this tree here. There was a little, like, dirt marking showing that, like, hey, you could run at that to kind of help you. Uh, we we knew already because uh, we're we're so smart and we're going to go across. We can see some cattails, the forbidden corn dog that you absolutely do not want to put in your mouth. Um, no, ma no matter at how much it looks like, mm, boy, uh, nature's corn dog, it's, you know, vegan or whatever. It's not don't want to do it. Don't want to put one of those in your mouth. Not going to go well. Well, we become small. And uh, we luckily have small strength so we can come up here and push book it, you see it all works we, we got the power to push things and it, it's just better and now we just got to make our way uh, back through and you know we unlocked the we unlocked that lily pad and um the castor wilds 
but we're about to get the ability to swim, so I'm guessing there's probably going to... Hey, you pestos weren't here when I first came through, but I'm just going to ignore you and keep on just a chug... Oh, oh I, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to roll, but I, for some reason, hit start, which is... I have start map to, you know, an R bumper. Not, not, not anywhere close, so that one was a big oopsie-doopsie. A library book called The History of Masks. There was something I wanted to do in town. It was probably spend money. Spend money. There's something else I wanted to do that I've totally forgotten. So it's fine, you know. Uh, so it's whatever. I do want to talk to the mayor before we turn in the book just to see um, how uh, what an ungrateful little shit uh, he's going to be about finding his book. You know, these masks see everything that goes on in my... Pr I don't want to hear about this. Maybe you should just ask my masks. Oh, he does not care about the books, uh, but giving us a hint about like, hey, the masks, they're important. You know, the Legend of Zelda series, a series where sometimes the masks are important. You gotta think about that. Would you look at that? I can't believe it. It's our copy of A History of Masks. That mayor of ours is a real piece of shit, isn't he? That's not what she said, piece of work. Uh, it must have been quite a challenge to get back from him. You are my new favorite person, Lock the Second. Thank you very much. Or thank you so much. Okay, so... Uh, the return book lady is now our girlfriend. We're her favorite. It's just how it is. Uh, you know, Lock the Second, you're, you've now returned all of our overdue books. Now we can finally get that bookshelf on the second floor and order. Hey, Sturgeon, books to shelves. Oh, I'm so sorry with that little whistle I did. Yes, yes, here I am. I, I'm here. I'll have those books put away. Lickety split. As we can see, Sturgeon, very quick, very fast, able to balance three books on that big old noggin. The bookshelves are back in order. Ah. I feel so, so renewed. Enjoy your browsing. I will. Thank you, girlfriend. I'm going to go uh, upstairs and re look at some books. I'm also about to just smash some masks, if you don't mind, uh, because I've learned that sometimes masks have a rupee in them or maybe something else like a kinstone. No kinstone. Six rupee. Six rupee was not worth destroying your masks for. I'm sorry. But if there was a kinstone, it would have been totally worth it. What about you? Oh, ho, ho. All the books are back on the shelves. Isn't it grand? Also, I am not crazy. Like, my sanity was restored the second the books were, were placed back down. I was lying earlier. I was driven absolutely mad by the missing books. But a uh, problem has been a solvent. Hey, 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 listen up. Listen good. The books are back now. It's true. It's true. Ha ha. Now we can get back to Elder Library. So you brought the books back. Good for you. Thank you. Please take this as a sign of our thanks. Oh, I wasn't expecting to get anything for that. But hey, I'll take it. Uh, we're getting dangerously close to uh, the rupee limit. Ah, it's so nice to have all my little books in a row. Yep, I feel the exact same way when I put books on my shelves. Did we ever get something that we could... Uh, there we go. Oh, nope, that was, that was the B button. B button, not the crack button. Also, that was not also a lot of incorrect button pressing uh, happening here, but it's fine because I got it under control. Also, we have the um, correct piece to fuse with the um, minish and the um, uh, the 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 wisest of the wise, uh, the friend by Lake Hylia. Uh, we have the piece that matches with theirs, uh, so that's nice. They fit perfectly. I wonder what that means. We, you know, it's 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 good luck. Uh, you know, I'm I'm able to see thanks to the uh, as we established the psychic visions of Ezlo. Ezlo knows all, sees all, uh, is able to to tell those things, and it's it's good. So we're, we're we we know we, we know about the good luck. It drained a drained a little pool. Oh, this is it. Yeah, I guess I should have assumed that the the green book. The, that's fancy or whatever was Elder Library's uh, house, but for some reason I remembered it being different. And oh, mm, oh, look at this! Lives in the fucking book. It's all like hollowed out and like shelves. It's oh, ah, yeah, Elder Library. Even though you got nothing but money on the mind, which is understandable. We've all been there. I love, I love you. Whoa, is that whoa, whoa, whoa. what? There's a laugh in One Piece that, that a big bad guy does that, that made me think of, but it's not whoa ho ho and I can't think of it, and it's not important. So I'm not even going to put it on the screen, because it's not important what the laugh is. A visitor, after many long weeks, even Jotari has been away for so long, I've grown almost lonely. But what is it? What do you need? Hmm, you want to visit the Temple of Droplets? Very well. You are the first such brave person in a long while. Stand on the clover in front of me, and I will give you your swim lesson. All right, all right, you kids today. No patience for... No, I love you, old man. Your house rules. 
and your big quill. It's nice. Quill staff. Well, just stand right there like I told you. Now, you need to spin your arms. Whoa, ho, ho. Now, open secret mystery panel. See, uh, El Elder Library, not going to give us traditional swimming lessons. Whoa, ho, ho. Wasn't that fun? Now then, it's up to you to pass this trial safely and recover the item you require. Oh, what fun. I do love the real nitty gritty of adventuring. Real, uh, real fucking uh, Dark Souls, Demon Souls, uh, Patches moment. Uh, Pat. Patches was ripped off of uh, Elder Library, as we all know. Urk, ow, 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 did I just smack my hip on something? Well, not my hip, my whatever it is I have now. My brim? Whatever. That old fool must just love sending people on dangerous missions. And how did that library get into the Temple of Droplets anyways? I guess the answer lies up ahead. Keep moving, boy. Uh, so yes, no swimming, swim lessons. Uh, that's not how it works in this video game. This is a video game where... I thought we were going to have to do the classic of a three block push, um, but no, it was just a two block push. Uh, classic, less of, less so than uh, than classic of th three block push. Um, three block push, three block push is so funny because it's it's like the most basic of basic uh, block puzzles where you put the three blocks right next to each other and you push two, you push the two on the left and the right to the sides, and then the middle that you push to left or right to be able to get by. It's such a basic puzzle. Um, but there, I, the first time I can remember seeing that puzzle um, was Pokemon Gold and um, the uh, Chuck's Gem, uh, Olive, no, that's not Olive Vine, that's um, Cyanwood, the Cyanwood uh, City Gem. I don't think it's, it's not a city. Cyanwood? Yeah, I think it's called Cyanwood. Oh, these are new enemies. I don't know their names off the top of my head. They're like Pinchy Boys or Scuttlers or something like that. Hey. Uh, so it'll, it'll be on screen or, or whatever. Um you know, like some like ant lion looking guys. Uh, we can come in here. We can get the item we've desired, the flippers, because um, we didn't need a, a swimming lesson. Oh, I was saying something, but it's gone. Oh, oh yeah, I saw the, the block pushing thing and, and Pokemon. I remember being stumped on it and talking about it with friends for, for like just being stuck on this like simple puzzle and being like, how do we do this? Uh, and then eventually solving it and being like, guys, I did it. And then showing them how I did it and being the brain genius of the group. Mm, yes, yes, yes. Why, it all makes sense now, doesn't it, boy? You couldn't swim because you didn't have webbed feet. Library used these flippers to swim to the entrance of the Temple of Droplets. So if you put these on, you should be able to swim, too. Remarkable. Yep, because all, all you need is webbed feet. That's the only thing you need to swim uh, in, in the world. You don't need to know technique or any of that bullshit. You just need to be able to uh, hop in the water and get it done. <clears throat> so Minish Cap... Uh, is a video game that makes some decisions about um, swimming and such. Um, because as you can see, I'm swimming right at the land and I can't get onto there. Despite the fact there's land, you need to be able to find like little like shallow pools of water like that to be able to get out. Lonk does not have the upper arm strength uh, to pull himself up out of the water. Like I said earlier, scrawny little fella. Not going to be able to do anything about this uh, whatsoever. Uh, unfortunately, can we? We can get into the water like... We can jump into it, no problem. But getting out, you got to find the little uh, hand holdies. Because uh, Locke's such a, you know, getting out of the, the water, like, when you're a small child. Um, or if, you, you know, oh, we can get out here. No problem, though. It, it can be hard, like, you know, before you get the, the upper arm strength to pull yourself up and out. Uh, it can be a little, a little difficult. And we're, we're not going to roast Locke any more than I guess I already just did uh, about it. Because it's, it's a very normal thing. And I also haven't been swimming in forever. I'm very strong and cool, though, and would have no problem doing it. Um, but I'm not gonna make any. I'm not gonna make fun of anyone other than Lonk uh, about it because it's uh, it's it's an annoyance in the video game because you'll be like, I just want to get out of the water, and you can't. Um, so we're we're gonna we're gonna complain about it in terms of video game, but we're not gonna make fun of anybody because that'd be rude. And I'm sorry that if if I started to make fun of anybody because that's it's not a not a it's, hey. It's not good to make fun of people. You can make fun of Lonk though, because he's little, he's dipshit. But we love uh, Lonk the second. He's he's our dipshit. We made him this way. He he could have been anything, but he's a dipshit. And I keep saying it's it's we and our, but it's my fault. Um, because just uh, I guess you know, protagonists always end up being dipshit. Uh, for some reason, it's just a standard like 
thing that happens to protagonists where people are like, well, protagonist dipshit. Because I guess it works. Um, you know, your, your Gokus, your Luffys, um, you know, just to cite popular thing. But also, like, having a uh, protagonist who's stupid kind of gives you, like, the excuse to, like, well, now we can explain things to them. Uh, it, and it just works, you know? Yep, uh, your ultra rare one was nothing. Well done indeed. Why, you're almost as spry as I was at that age. Almost. Elder Library. Spry as fuck whenever, uh, he was whatever, however old Monk is. We, oh, we do have this one. I thought we had, uh, used that one up. I guess we had two of them. Now we're totally out of those pieces. So, Library, you better give me something good. And by give me something good, we saw that it was money. Looks like you're spawning in another golden enemy. It's gonna be another rope. Oh, no, it's a golden Octorok. Which we've, we've already seen a golden Octorok, I think pretty certain <clears throat> would like to see some other enemies uh but there we go we do we do now we now have the means to enter the temple of droplets uh there were some side quests i wanted to get done i didn't think uh doing the flippers quest would take an entire hour an entire human hour that we have done uh i kind of want to just go ahead and do the side quests because um, then we could keep up the episode structure of before, like leading up to the dungeon, dungeon, leading up to the dungeon. Uh, and if we can keep that up, it'll make my brain feel good. Um, so you know what? This is this episode will be going up on a Monday anyways. So this is going to have to last you to a Friday if you're watching it anyways. So instead of doing... Because now we, we can get into that dungeon. I can fly to Lake Hylia. We can just... We can get in there. It's no problem, but it's side quest in time, a uh, baby. And we're oh, sorry. Let's go over. I wasn't exactly blocking your way, but I guess there's also a horse in your way, so that was probably part of it. Um, so let's do some side quests. Um, I had I had on my list check the mayor's house for goodies, and we we've, we've accomplished that one. That was the, the top of my list after uh get uh doing that. Um, we can come in here and we can talk to uh the oracles. Uh, I guess they're not, maybe not oracles, who's to say, uh, in this game, but we can fuse with Furore. Uh, and this is actually something I wasn't sure we were going to be able to do, uh, but our kinstone pieces are looking pretty good for the most part. We have a few pieces that are uh, lacking. <clears throat> and by fusing with Furore, Gorman comes back to town. Uh, Gorman, character uh, from uh, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask. Uh, I think he's, 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 he's a hard work in Ingo and... Uh, that game, uh, but he's, he's continued to be Gorman, uh, which was uh, his name and uh, Majora's Mask in this game. Wow, I just had the best idea. I can rent out my house for some extra cash. We have activated the landlord. Boy, boy howdy, we put some magic rocks together and created a landlord. Great. We've made a perfect match. Maybe I'll get lucky enough to find a home. So yes, that's what the oracles are all about. They're looking for a home. And a landlord has started renting out their home. Hooray, good luck for them. I'm so happy. Uh, oh, I, made, I was like, can I do the slasher? We could do the slasher. I'm not sure if any of uh, the uh, hotel employees wanted to fuse. I have that one. I don't, I do have that one. I Please fuse with me. The button combinations I need to hit are arcane and mysterious to me. I was going to say, why do I keep running out of green ones? But I guess green ones are the most common ones. So you just end up using them all up. Uh, I could be purchasing them, and there's actually <clears throat> little little thing I wanted to try. Um, thank you, Bindle. Uh, little thing I wanted to try with the the Pico Light, because uh, Tall Person left a comment that the Pico Light is actually a worthwhile thing uh, to try. Uh, so we we'll, we'll go ahead and try. I um I think uh, we can't help you out, Lolly. Sorry. Yep. Nothing I can do. Uh, let's go into the shop. Let's see, because there's. Nothing we can buy. Oh, no, here it is. Uh, I was looking in the spot where all the expensive items had been. How much do you want for the quiver? 600 rupees holds many arrows. Let's go ahead and buy it. Large quiver. Now we can carry more arrows. We are a big spender. Uh, how many arrows can we carry? 50. We carry 50 arrows. Now. Oh, yeah, because that would have been our first arrow upgrade. Right, right, right. Uh, and with that, we still have an empty bottle. So we can come over here. Uh, we have 200 rupees. Pico light costs 200 rupees. Uh, regardless of which one you get. Uh, green is money, red is heart, white is kinstone. So we'll go ahead and get green uh, to get cash and see just how... Oh, it makes it easier to find mysterious shells. That wasn't... I thought green would be rupee. Red is heart. 
Hmm, I thought we could, uh, okay, I guess we'll try it later, because eventually, spoilers, eventually, uh, Beetle's going to get more Picolite, uh, and we'll be able to get more Rupees, and we'll see if we're able to get more Rupees, um, than we spent, because if we get more than 200 Rupees, we can repeat that if it, uh, gives us a substantial enough of amount. We don't have Zill. What the hell's her name? Zill. Um, sorry, Zill. Um, you know, if, if it is a substantial enough amount, we can try that. I did see another recommendation for uh, getting money that we can try, but we're not going to do that because we don't have uh, the peak light. So whatever. And I'm not worried about money at the moment. What I am worried about is this is Simon. Uh, the shop was closed up until this moment, uh, but now we can come in here. Ho ho. Here we are. You've come to the fabulous Simon's sim simulations. Would you like to hear about us? Sure. What do you do? <clears throat> Ho ho, well certainly. Now, how shall I put this? We offer you the chance to become, to be, the hero of your becoming. Become. We allow you to fight grand monsters without any danger. This is our unique service now. I can't say this too loudly, but if you dispatch a monster skillfully enough, you might get something nice. Now, even though this is only a simulation, it is still not for the faint of heart. If you should die in this simulation, why then? Well, I don't know. It's never happened. It's 10 rupees for one trip. I'll do it. We can assume if you die in the dream, you die in real life. That's how the rules normally work. You're going to get very sleepy. So very sleepy. Ho, he, ho, howza. <clears throat> so we just get hypnotized into having to fight some monsters. And uh, quite a lot of monsters indeed. We can make use of oh, our... Nope, wrong button. Our boomerang uh, to help us uh, dispatch with the, the P-hats. Um, we could, and just stun enemies in general. I could pull out the shield and, you know, go for a defensive strat, but... <laughs> you, who has time for defense? We're all about the offense, a baby. Oh, I say that as I'm getting smacked in the face by uh, moblins. Um, and pushing the P-hats away as I try to kill them uh, instead of just, you know, finishing them off. And I don't know why I ran away instead of just throwing my boomerang uh, to protect ourselves. Because, see, it's like, it's like Bloodborne, baby. Well, you don't need a shield. The shield... It engenders passivity, and that's not what we're here to do. We're, we're here to, to play uh, rough and tumble. We're trying to get off our parries uh, with our, our boomerang, which is like the gun of, B of Bloodborne. So once again, we're learning a whole lot about how Dark Souls copied The Legend of Zelda, which is actually, there's a lot of Zelda influence and, you know, Dark dark Soul, uh, less so in Demon Souls, uh, more so in the Dark Soul, like, world design where it's... It, it's kind of Metroid-y, but it, feel, it feels more Zelda-y, even though it's more probably more Metroid-y. But I'm going to say Zelda-y, because I like Zelda more, so sorry. I lost two hearts. We were told how skillfully we did it. There wasn't like a timer or anything. Uh, we survived. We got the piece of heart, so we're good. Oh, we even got an extra one. That's nice. And we're on our second row, baby. We're over halfway there. That's good. Oh, that's cute. Ezla sleeps in the bed along with us. Oh, you got to wake Ezla up. Oh, how adorable. Hmm. What good. What good sprite work. So good. How was it? Did you enjoy the ride? Please come back. Come. Please come back and try it and again anytime. We're always open. Selling dreams to John Q. Public. Yes, sir. Well, that's not John Q. Public, but uh, sure. Sure, all right. Well, let's go ahead and come in here and check this one out. I don't remember if this one has shit for shit for us, uh, but we might as well as come in here and... Uh, find out what it is oh no a customer why did i ever start a treasure game shop anyway it would have been like well, why did i ever start a treasure shop game anyway but i paused there all right then ahem welcome to the fascinating world of treasure blah 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 in this wonderland you can test your luck and win bin bucks maybe i don't really recommend it myself but whatever it's your wallet it's 10 rupees for one try if you want to throw your money away on such a terrible pastime i would really just save it if i were you let's give it a try <clears throat> oh and the shopkeep not into that <clears throat> so if i recall this is just like a yeah 50 50 shot there, there's a game like this in ocarina of time where you cheat using the um the lens of truth but here it's just a coin flip Oh, and we immediately lost. Yep, that's what happens if you gamble. And uh, the shop keeps happy. Yeah, gambling's not what you thought it was. And don't think maybe I'll win next time either. Wake up, man. Get out of here before you lose the shirt off your back. Uh, but nope, we're going to try. We'll try just one more time. Just, you know, see what we can do. You know, double or nothing. Um, we'd have to double it a couple times for it to be worth it. But, you know, might, might as well just give it a shot. Why not? 
uh, and I can check later if this gives us a piece of heart because I don't remember if it does uh, if it does it's gonna be a pain in the ass you know just doing coin flips till you get it get the thing um let's just keep going with the oh damn I keep so I assume that it's going to randomly pick one every single time and it's not just like you learn the order so I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna pick the the right one this time uh, and see if it's just like an order. And even if it is the right one again, you know, it could still, it could just be the, the coin flip went that way every single time. Uh, cause I remember when I did, um, my let's played Wario Land 1, Super Mario Land 3, uh, that I would always just pick like, and th that game has like a, you pick one, it, it has a coin flip mechanic. And I would always just pick the same one over and over again. Cause it really didn't matter. Cause it's like, it's really going to pick it. So who cares? Um, you know, I'll just pick the same one every single time. Let's do it. I'm just going to keep going. I'll probably lose again unless we just end up making a lot of a lot of scratch. We got 40 rupees. <laughs> you already think about it. You already got a prize and everything. Don't push your luck. I'm going to I'm, I'm going to push my luck. I'm going to pick the same chest again. 80 rupees, one, yeah. I wouldn't recommend it, but you can wager your winnings and try again. Think about it. I mean, I'm just going to I mean, if we get it, yeah, I was going to say if we get it this time, maybe I'll back out, but yeah, yeah, I'm done. That's good. That's fine. Yeah, so this is a way that we could make money. I could always even cheat and use save states, uh, and actually, that could be a great way to make money. Um, but I won't do it, and you'll have to believe me. I'm smiling, and I put my finger to my temple, so you know I'm being completely truthfully honest, and you have to believe me. I did the finger temple thing. You can't, you can't disbelieve me. Are you going to disbelieve the finger temple? It, it, was, it was probably really cute. I couldn't see, but I bet it was cute as shit. And you'll have to believe me. Uh, and also, I'm just going to go back to the um, <clears throat> the the place where we got the power, power bracelets uh, to pick up that piece of heart we saw. And now that we're here, we just swim across and pick up the, the thing. Easy as that. Easy as pie. We just come here, we get a, we get a heart piece. You know, you just gotta you just gotta backtrack a little. Remember the thing you saw. You know, use your spatial awareness, and we can just swim across that fountain now, no problem. However, we do have to make it across to the land of the beasts again. With that heart piece in hand, we're good to. Wouldn't you believe it? Go collect a few more heart pieces, and also do some more uh, side questing. And oh, I, I forgot about Gorman, the landlord. I suppose we should speak to his dumbass to see what's up. What? What do you want? Why are you bothering me, kid? Huh? Oh, my name's Gorman. I'm trying my hand at real estate. Turns out it's a total pain, like right now. I'm looking for a tenant, you see. But the thing is, I can only rent to a woman. Single occupancy. Too many tenants would make the place dirty and they'd be loud. I like things nice and quiet, see? And all this is just not so much hassle. If you find anyone who can rent this place, would you let me know? So, uh... One of our uh, potential side quests we can do is aiding a shitty landlord. H hooray! Uh, I guess we could look at it less that way and more helping out our, our three big favorites. The Oracles. Den, the Oracle of Seasons. Nehru, the Oracle of Ages. And Fror, the Oracle of Secrets, if you want to call her that, I guess. Um, I don't remember if she gets called that in the uh, Oracle games at all. Or even if these girls are Oracles in this game. Don't remember if it ever comes up. Um, but if you'll remember, uh, talking to them, they're all looking for a home. But Gorman has placed a, a stipulation that the home is single occupancy and only a woman can uh, can rent it out, which, you know, real, real cool. You know, that's a real cool thing for a really cool landlord to do. Um, and so we have a moral quandary here. Who do we rent out to? Now, I'm going to make a controversial choice here. You know, Den, Den, and, Den and Nehru. They rule. We know they rule. We played games where they rule. But Furor, Furor doesn't get any love. Furor went gameless. So I think Furor can go and live in the house. I think that's. I think it's only fair that Furor gets gets a home to live in uh, and not having to live in the Maku Tree slash our wife, the Maku Tree, uh, depending on which game. It, you know, the, the, the Maku Tree, our wife, and or the Maku Tree are daddy? I don't know. We didn't get into that, that part in Seasons. Who knows? But yes, we found you a house to rent. Oh, the other one's the A button. I once again forgot. Thanks. I can't wait to check it out. So if we leave, are you are you gone? Like we come out. Yep, and Fror is gone. Let's talk to them. Things just aren't the same. Things aren't just the same around here now. That's just the two of us. I can't believe she found a place. I'm so jealous. 
Yeah, unfortunately, you two are going to be uh, stuck here for the moment. Let's go check in on Furore. Uh, and I guess Gorman's probably standing. Oh, that's nice. There's like little uh, green clothes hanging out on the um, the clothesline since Furore moved in. Welcome, Monk the Second. I really love this house. If you have an empty bottle, I can put one of my homemade charms inside. Just ask me any time. Oh, I forgot that this is what the oracles would do for us. Want to charm your bottle? Sure. Let's see what you'll give us. All right, there it is. Come back anytime. We got Furore's Charm. Uh, your power and guard will be boosted for a while. Oh, neat. Cool. So I guess I guess this um, will up our defense and attack a little bit. And then maybe if we went with a den, it would have been just like maybe more attack. And then Nehru is more defense. So this is probably like the balanced option, I would have to guess. I couldn't remember what you get for doing that. Um, oh, do you want to fuse Angie? Uh, do we we don't have that one. That's the one that we consistently do not have. Oh, and she her name is Anju in this game. I couldn't remember if they they kept her name in this game because sometimes she's the cuckoo lady. Um, but if you'll remember back in episode one, she has a game for us to play where we have to go and uh, capture some cuckoos for her. Uh, there are ten levels to this game um, where you know you, we just run around, we find some cuckoos, we bring them back to her, her pen, we throw them in, we do that, uh, and then believe it or not, the tenth level. There may be some kind of goodie for us, some kind of goodie that would be a goodie. It's 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 a piece of heart. If we if we do this all ten levels of this for her, uh, you can get a piece of heart. Uh, that was three cuckoos. Oh, are we stuck until? She said three, right? I thought she said three. I wasn't really reading. I guess though. Um, time's up. And that's it. Okay, yeah, it was three. So we get mysterious seashells, some rupees. Uh, every time we do this. Um, so hey, nice way to make rupees once again. Um, so yeah, we're going to be doing this. I'm not sure what items could potentially help this out uh, if you wanted to do this earlier. Um, but since we have the flippers now, we have access to like the full gamut of gamut, gamut, gambit, gauntlet. The full, the, the entirety of Hyrule Town is at our uh, discretion. We can go anywhere we want. Um, I'm not sure if we should probably be using the Pegasus boot. What I was trying to say is I'm not sure if using the Pegasus boots would be a good thing to do, but it makes us faster. So it probably would be, huh, to uh, bust out our Pegasus boots uh, and get some uh, running in because it looks like we're not going to make it this time, which is unfortunate. I need to be using my uh, boots uh, to be getting a little bit of extra speed. Uh, but being able to swim through town uh, will be useful since we won't have to worry about kind of like any of the major... Um, bottlenecks in town seeing as like you know normally it would be like oh we don't want to hit the cuckoos because oh i was gonna say you know we know what happens when you you hurt a lot of cuckoos they they go a cuckoo on you um i suppose we could check that out at some point you know we could do some um some cuckoo a hurting uh to see them come after us i guess they normally aren't out and about in town uh even using the boots we didn't go any faster i'm not sure if there's a a smart strategy to utilize to do this any faster um Oh boy, maybe I should be going to um, maybe I should be going to a different part of town. I'm not sure, like not different part of town, like run across the other side of the town uh, to catch uh, catch these damn birds, you know. But what I what I mean is like maybe if we were to go um, up here, like perhaps there's a, yeah cuckoo over here that maybe uh, would be faster for us to get to, and uh, I'm probably not going to be making it this time. Uh, thanks to those uh, little screw-ups right there, unless I can get the gold cuckoo back in time. We do have a little bit more time uh, than we had when I was going after that other one, so perhaps we'll be able to do it. Uh, and if you don't remember, I'm throwing the gold cuckoo, uh, because the gold cuckoo, if we carry it for too long, will escape our grasp. Uh, and that would be annoying. Uh, we did manage to do it that time. Oh, yes. Being able to swim, uh, important to be able to do, uh, to be able to get to the other side of town, because I assume at some point we'll have to be able to get over there to collect all the cuckoos we'll need um also it's just a useful thing uh to be able to do you know a oh, gold cuckoo right here at the start that's convenient uh we don't have to worry about oh there's a cuckoo on top of the damn house uh, i'm not sure what we'll be doing about that i'm not sure if that cuckoo's just been up there since the beginning and i've just never noticed or if um uh that's a new thing for this level of game uh it's probably just been up there and it's part of side quest uh, and i just haven't been paying attention how many are, we're going after five i think um oh you know what we can be doing a smart thing that we can do is collect multiple cuckoos at once and i didn't want to throw that cuck cuckoo there uh, but i was worried about it escaping from our grass because we threw that cuckoo and it looks like it despawned okay so maybe my idea of uh oh shit it ran the opposite way maybe my smart cool idea of crawling multiple cuckoos at once wasn't as cool and smart as i thought it was 
uh, that cuckoo that was running against the pen, though, I think might have been the one I was trying to get to. Um, cause we need to get we need to get five of them, so we should probably be like trying to bring multiples of them back. So like, I can throw that guy over there, uh, and it looks like it'll probably just go like buck wild, uh, and maybe it'll end up uh, over there. So we can just follow this one, see where. Oh, it kind of chilled out. We'll throw you over there. Uh, and this is this is going to be... Hey! Oh, you know what it probably is? It's probably because I'm rolling past it. So then it's deciding to run uh, the opposite way. I, that's probably... God. Oh, it, it, it'll run in itself. Nice. I did not know they would do that. I guess we can just throw them past uh, Anju. Because um, you, you, you've, seen, you've seen what I've been doing, my strategy. I think we have four in there. I have not been counting. Uh, luckily, uh, this cuckoo will not escape our grasp. So that will make it five regardless of if I was counting... Uh, bad or not. Okay. So luckily, you know, the, the count of cuckoos that we need to collect goes up every time, but so does uh, the timer. Uh, and I... Okay, yeah, I wasn't sure how much money we had. Uh, I suppose... What, what what can we do with our money? I guess we can go... If we start looking like we're going to cap off on money, we can go uh, buy some uh, secret seashells. And if our secret seashells start capping off, we can go buy uh, things. But it looks like it's just going to be this, so I guess I'll just keep playing this game for a bit until we either succeed or I decide it's too hard and I look up a guide or whatever on how to do this. The cuckoo in this game are incredibly patient with you. Okay, I think that is the last set of them. So, you know, this game's interesting. Uh, you know, they steadily amp the, up the amount of cuckoos until they decide to amp them down for a more complicated uh, arrangement. But the arrangements change uh, as you go through, uh, that, you know, make it harder and harder. Uh, so you got to have some equipment to be able to do it. Oh, whoops. Um, I didn't find myself finding the um, uh, Pegasus boots all that useful. I found it easier just to roll um, since I can kind of cancel out that a little bit easier than that. Well, I guess you can cancel out the Pegasus boots faster. Uh, the roll is just less uh, uh, dedication. Oh, there's like a word that you use for for that, like less setup, less dedication. You know, uh, to using. Uh, it does seem like you do need the flippers because you have to go across the um, the river in town to get to the other side because they're chickens. Um, uh, to to do to do the thing. Uh, but you know, it's a fun fun little game. It, it's it's nice. Um, I found myself uh, especially for the last two. Uh, I would throw away an entire round just to run around town and find uh, where the chickies be. 
buggity buggity boo. I still don't know how to get you to move. Um, I guess we'll figure it out one day. Um, but yeah, you know, nice, nice little thing. I thought it, um, it'd be a little bit harder to do. Um, honestly, once I shut up and started focusing on it, it was a bit easier. And now I'm worried because I bumped my mic. Um, I'm going to move a little bit. Um, so hopefully uh, the, the microphone is still uh, working out uh, perfectly fine. Um, shitty landlord over here now. I'll build here, I think. The shitty landlord has recognized the best piece of real estate in town, as we know from one Minish, who currently lives there. Who, just like a landlord, is not recognizing the current tenant's uh, privileges of living there. Lately, Mudo's been grumbling about how there's no work with any punch. I wish I could do something about that, but I don't even know what he means. Well, maybe we could have fused kinstones, and maybe you could get some inspiration for what uh, what that means, Bremor. You're not Brent, but we'll hop out Bremor. Um, yeah, so we also got like three, it was, it was either three or two uh, red kinstones. Uh, from doing that a heart piece uh, a lot of rupees uh, i was able to buy a couple more um uh i almost said secret seashells but mysterious seashells i'm feeling really motivated now i could probably build a good sized house in a matter of minutes well hooray that's kind of unprecedented quick work a perfect fit i can't wait to see what happens now <laughs> we just walk over here and the house is just already built let's leave town walk back in is there just a house there now? Nope, but they have begun construction. What do you got to say for yourself? Uh, yeah, yeah, you'll build there? Yeah, I think I think you are, in fact, going to build there. Well, it's not really you. You don't do any work. You don't offer anything useful to uh, the people of the town, uh, whereas the construction worker. Construction worker does do uh, some good. They did build on top of someone's house, but they didn't realize it. Guffaw. That, well, that was a blast, and I guess it did have some punch to it. And I'll wager I'm the only person who could have gotten it done that quickly. I'm not sure if I would call it done. Uh, just yet, but sure. There sure have been a lot of creatures on a rampage lately. As a result, we've been in a bit of a rush uh, to get things repaired around here. Uh, let's fuse kinstones. Doyle, I don't think we have that. We do have that one. Here you go, Doyle. Doyle, 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 and tr tr it's toil. Is it just toil, 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 boil? Toil, toil, boil, and trouble? Whatever. You know the joke I was going to make. Pretend I landed it and it was really good and you laughed. And you don't have to tell anybody. Uh, that it wasn't, and um, that was a area that we have not been able to get to just yet uh, in the schoolyard. Whoo! I'm busy, kid. The boss always makes sure we've got our nose to the, our nose, our nose to the old grindstone. Don't know why I said it, nose, but I said it as nose, and we're both going to have to live uh, with the fact uh, that is what happened. And I think we're done with town for right about now. Uh, we could probably run around and find like kinstone fusions that we could do, uh, like with. Pina for Pina Colada, but unfortunately, pro more probably like Pina, like pineapple. Um, but, but Pina Colada, I think that's pineapple. We tried to fuse with you earlier, Zil. Sorry, Zil. I, I forgot. Forgot because you're Zilch. To me. No, that's not fair. You're 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 a good sweet baby child who just someone needs to get that sweet baby child to tiss you really badly. Um, okay, what do we need to do out here? Out here. There is a, a hole that we need to go into because we can now swim. Believe it or not. I know you don't believe it, but we can, in fact, swim. Uh, well, actually, you should believe it. We learned how to do that this episode. Why don't you believe me that we can swim? That's ridiculous. Come on. you can. I don't trust this. I was about to say you, you should trust me on this. Oh, that was just money. All right. I guess it was just money. I was expecting a rupee like in there. But I guess just, you know, just a bit of free money for us, uh, which is nice. And now I'm just keeping an eye on uh, our, our cash just to make sure, you know, everything is also, in fact, cash. Because uh, I uh, we can't go anywhere with this. I suppose we could swim over here and get up the, the ladder. Stairs? It's kind of hard to say what that is exactly. Like, when it comes to pools, it's it would be a ladder. Um, but, you know, due to the nature of uh, art and interpretation of art, whether that it... That, the thing that we got out of the water on was, in fact, uh, stairs or ladder. Up to interpretation. So, uh, regardless of what I said, I was correct, uh, and no one here will ever judge me, please. Please don't judge me. I'm doing my best. The stairs and ladders, it's its a whole thing. Uh, there's an old lady living out in the woods who absolutely loves mushrooms. Anyway, I hear she's working on some special kind of potion or something. Well... Can we fuse kinstones? Or do you have... No, you, you, thank you, Forest Manish, for having one of the kinds that I happen to have on me. Which I think we have everything except for, like, the greens. We're not We're not in the green. We're in the blues and reds. Mostly the reds, actually. 
My special red potion is almost finished. Oh, and it's so very special. Hee 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 hee. Okay, so I guess there is both blue and red potion in this game. I was just like, oh damn, they just kept the chase, gave you the blue potion. Um, but I guess uh, there is in fact a red potion that is better than the blue. So I guess maybe blue probably recovered some amount of hearts and then red recovers even more than that. Boy, what a great guess on my part that the thing that we had to uh, work to get is probably better. It's strange. I, I, know, I know. It's a, it's, a, it's a mystery how I think about these things. Oh yeah, because we're, we're small. We can we can swim in water when we're small. Can we get out of water? We can get out of water when we're small. Damn, we're so good. Can we get out on... We can even get out on the stairs ladder. I'm going to... I feel like I feel like there's stairs more than a ladder. Uh, but... Oh, I guess, I guess there are pool, like, the stairs that you get into get, you know, the stairs that, like, you put your feet in. You don't like stairs where you can, like, walk in, so you can, like, walk into the pool, but then there's also the ladders you can climb out on. You know? You know how that is sometimes? It's weird, isn't it? That it could be either of those things, and I forgot that, <laughs> that there were stairs that ex- Boy! Whew! It's, get it's getting hot in here, isn't it? Oof. Uh, let's go ahead and check our map. Let's see. Let's make sure there's nothing uh, easy that we could have grabbed while we're over here. Um, yeah, I, I suppose we could be checking our map more just to see, like, hey, what are we missing in town? Because, like, in town, we know um, there are the Gorons there, that house is being built, uh, the, 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 the newsletter, and then there's the thing uh, in the schoolyard, which we can't get to. But, I mean, like, we're not just... That, that's the Goron place. I'm not, I'm not just going to sit here and scan all of the maps. I'm just going to go ahead and follow my notes. And we're going to now go to up here-ish. Right there-ish. Yeah, that's where we want to go. Because we have the um, we have uh, the moments. Uh, if you'll remember, we fused with somebody. Don't remember who, but we fused Kinstones with somebody. Uh, and when we did, it put a... I think it was one of the baby children that we fused with. Um, and then it made a thing. There's a mob in here, I think. There, there was a mob on here before. Uh, what I wanted to talk about, though, just ran the hell away from us. That crow. Um, when I was editing the other episode, I was like, boy, I remember while playing that I didn't know the name of the crow, but then I couldn't figure out where it was in editing. And then I was just like, yes, that happened some episodes ago, and I shouldn't be worried about it. And then it did turn out to be in that episode. So, whoops. So, these enemies here, I was trying to remember their name. The name I was remembering is Gwei. Gwei is a name of a bird enemy in The Legend of Zelda. Those are crows. They're just called crows uh, in, in English. Um, so it's a bit annoying that those kinds of enemies are different because Gwei's, which like I think they originated in uh, Ocarina of Time, um, are just, they're just damn crows. And then they made another enemy called Crow, which is just kind of annoying. Uh, their Japanese name, however, uh, Kurari, um, like Kurori, Kurari, so it's like Crow, Crowley, like Crowley, so which is you know it, it's it's fun, it, it, it's 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 a fun thing, um, it's it's a cute cute good name, uh, I enjoy it, um, but it is it is strange to me that there just exists multiple like bird enemies who aren't like differentiated all that much because like a Gwei and a crow, not all that different, um, in practice. Uh, there is another crow enemy called uh, Takari, I think. I, I actually have it in my notes because I know I wouldn't remember its name. And I'll just, I'll keep swinging my sword waiting for the Moldorm, uh, Moldorm to come. Um, I, where the hell is it in my notes? Uh, Takuri. Takuri is the name of the enemy. Um, and it's like a more advanced crow enemy. Uh, if you remember in Majora's Mask, there's like the bird that steals from you. Um, and that's the Takuri. Um so it's like it's it's a it's a better crow. It it actually does the damn stealing. Um, was that it? We came in here to get a red kinstone. I guess maybe the idea was we traded a less valuable kinstone for this. And also there's a a fairy uh, fountain in there, uh, so that's useful. I guess. I guess. Oh yeah, it's. Hey, you can break rocks with the rock breaker. I feel like I have this epiphany a lot. There's a lot of uh, mysterious seashells. Thank you. Actually, how many do we have? Because I did purchase a few. Uh, yeah, we're getting close to 600. We'll probably buy a few before we go into uh, the next dungeon just to, you know, make sure we don't, like, hit, like, a big stash of them and, like, become full up on uh, the... I almost said the kinstones. Uh, I don't think there's a max limit on kinstones. And if there is, I don't know it and have don't think I've seen it. So it's not important. Irrelevant. Um, oh, thank you for ex wanting the exact one right at the top. Uh, thank you very much, Mysterious Wall. I appreciate you. And now that I think about it, I think we are, in fact, missing a... Um, a single red kinstone piece, unless we just picked it up. 
That's a tough wall. Three of us together couldn't even break it. But what if there was a fourth one of y'all? Would that uh, aid you in your quest? Perhaps? I smell delicious stones. They're right on the other side of this wall. Can you give me a hand, Goro Goro? You will get your hand, Goro Goro. In fact, you will get two additional hands uh, and your wall smashing efforts. Uh, I don't remember if that's the last mysterious wall in the game. Something tells me it's not. There's probably another, um, like another wall that they have to, to crush through. Because, you know, that was the second, like, wall that we got the Gorons to crush through. And that would have been our third Goron, I think, if I'm counting correctly. I took a break in between uh, the last recording uh, because I was getting a sleepy. And, hey, my, my brain's already doing its, its best. But I think we, we've helped out three Gorons total now. Um, you. Um, so we've helped out three Gorons. So I assume there's going to be another wall, um, with another three Gorons that we have to help, uh, if I just had to, uh, suss out how game work, you know? Have you seen that watery spot down by the south of it? Is it just me, or is there something really suspicious about that place? I can't put my, quite put my finger on it, but it seems, oh, where's me? Okay, wait, that watery spot down south, down to the south of it. Okay, I'll... I guess I'll check out what you're talking about. And is that the one I don't have? That's one of the ones I don't have. Boy, howdy. Yeah, all right. And so I would like to 100% um, complete this game, which means at some point I'm just going to have to go around the world and talk to every NPC uh, and see, oh, what is up? Hey, Mr. Fairy, I've uh, been holding on to this, just like my brother Tingle asked, uh, and I have a kinstone piece. Want to try and fuse with me? Let's try and fuse. You're probably going to have one of those green ones. I'd That's one of the green ones I do have. Thank you, Knuckle. Um, blue, it's a good look for you, for you Tingle Bros. Uh, I guess there's also pink. The Tingle Bros do have good colors, because I like green, I like pink, like blue. White's a bit boring, but we can give white a pass, because that one's David Jr., who in Wind Waker was just like... Some random guy who, who like, washed up on uh, Tingle's Island or whatever. Tingle's Island, a.k.a. Tingle. Oh! How many have you not found yet? Let's see, 61 left to go. You haven't seen anything yet. There are tons out there still. I'm guessing that's talking about the Kinstone fusions we have. 61 of them left, huh? Not even halfway. Boy. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see. Uh, what diggy spots? There's a diggy spot somewhere on Mount Crenel. I'm not sure if it'd be faster to fly up to the top or... Actually, I think it'd be faster just to walk there since we're right here. Uh, get out of my way, tech type. Because I think the diggy spot was at the top of uh, Krennel Wall. Uh, and I think... Um, actually, now I think about it, I think flying probably would have put us at about the same location we were anyways. Uh, so that's not that big a deal. We'll just climb up the damn wall. Um, oh, we'd have to climb up the damn wall uh, regardless. There were... Something that dropped is probably that boom, boom, boom made me think it was. Pro it's probably a heart. So you, who cares? Not important. Uh, we'll just climb up this wall. It's so interesting. Climb like climbing's like a thing that so rarely comes up in this game, um, and it's interesting because it also was a thing in um, uh, the the Oracle games uh, where you would climb. Like there's even like a big damn like mountain wall that you climb up uh, in that game. Not that climbing a mountain wall is unique to these Capcom Zeldas or anything, um, but you know, same team, same people. Um, I know I already checked these because uh, I remember when I checked these rocks, I was commenting about not recognizing the blue tectite um, due to the fact that they're, oh, I already have the claws out. I didn't even forgot that I had done that. Thank you, me. So now we can come into here into this diggy wall and we can uh, get a digging for goodies and i already see heart piece goodie which is the thing i have marked that we wanted to come oh anti-fairy let's go ahead and dispose of you because you're going to be in our way oh you're, you're spark you're not an anti-fairy i forgot because you you do the thing that anti-fairies do but apparently sparks also sometimes doing that i will just stun you we don't need to kill the delicate choo-choo choo-choo can just continue to choo-choo and along it's not I mean, I suppose it can bother me. It was, in fact, at one point, such a great nemesis that it uh, constituted a boss fight. But we're not worried about that right now. We're not worried about the past. We're worried about finding another wall that will help us find more Gorons. Uh, so I assume, 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 assume that this is going to leave us with... Uh, oh, I thought we would need two more Gorons, but looks like they only needed two more Gorons for this next wall to create a total of five Gorons that we added. I just assumed, you know, we went from adding one to two to three. You know, it's a safe assumption. That's one solid wall, no doubt about it. We're going to need some help. Some more? 
some more help. There's probably the word more in there, but I didn't notice it. And hey, hey, there's a treasure chest there. Hey, there's a treasure chest there that we could go get if we went there. Uh, ooh, I can smell deliciousness just on the other side of that wall. Thank goodness help has arrived. So Goron's interesting creatures. People like to talk about like, oh, well, their physiology doesn't make sense because they eat rock, but rock don't have the nutrients you need to live. But, you know, they're, they're, they're magic rock people who... They're made out of rocks. They subsist on rocks. It just works, baby. We don't need to think about it. We don't got to get all pedantic about like, oh, well, rock don't have nutrient. But shut up. They're Gorons. They're beautiful, lovely creatures who are beyond our human understanding. And I, we, we should respect the Gorons because they're just, they're such, oh, Moldorm does not give a shit about, about Boomerang. You stay away from me. No, that's, that was the way I didn't want you to go. I suppose now we just have to break out the best attack in the game, just spamming the B button. Uh, well, I suppose you could put your sword on any damn button you please. As you've seen, I prefer B. Just in my mind, it just it makes sense. B's the attack button to me. Um, uh, and that's just the way I've always been. Okay, so we've checked that diggy wall. Uh, are there any other diggy walls? Uh, yeah, we went to... Have we done this? Oh, actually, I think there was a thing I wanted to do. Um, there's a thing I wanted to do before we go to the place that I was just about to go to. I have it in my notes. I'm going to dodge rocks while reading my notes, which is not a good idea, but I'm doing it anyways. And I also can't read. Why can't I read my notes? Why am I so dumb? Why is reading so hard? Um. Okay. I, I remember I read my notes. It just wasn't in the place it was. And I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop doing that sing song voice. Um, okay. I know where we need to go now. Uh, I'm going to traverse to... Um, back to one of our previous masters, Greyblade. I believe Greyblade will want to do a kinstone fusion with us. We're just, we're just gonna chill while the boulders do their thing. Um, and and I'm gonna cut ahead. Okay, Greyblade. Yeah, Greyblade does in fact want to fuse with us. You want to fuse kinstones? I would love to. Oh, and Greyblade even does his cool flip animation when we come in here. Oh, and conveniently, oh, the last one we had. Uh, thank you so much. Um, that uh, that that um. Where was it? The um, when we fused with the baby child, it made the little like pool of water where we could go into that cave, and we got the red kinstone. I think that was that one red kinstone that I was like, oh, just we traded a kinstone for a kinstone. It ended up working. I snapped. I didn't even snap close close enough to the mic for it to really matter, but I, I did a snap because I was like, damn, that worked out and was really good. And I can't even be like, damn, I'm so smart because that was just completely complete luck. Uh, may maybe the game gives you the the thing. I, I I don't know. Maybe that one's always that. Who knows? Who's to say? Not me. <laughs> Somebody's to say. There's somebody who's gonna know. But as you as you can tell, it's not me. Actually, I think there's a diggy hole somewhere um on here as well. Cause I have a I have it written down that there was a diggy hole here in the Castor Wilds that we uh, could not uh get to. There's also this little pool of water here in the corner. Uh, it doesn't look like, oh, I was going to say, it doesn't look like there's anything we can do with this pool of water, but there is a little hole uh, for us to interact with if we were to become Minish. Uh, and we were able to become Minish here in the castor. Oh, I was trying to, I was trying to do the, uh, the Pegasus boots with, uh, the L button again. Um, even though we went through the whole song and dance of, hey, we have to equip, uh, excuse me, I have like, like, I keep almost hiccuping and then I'm like, Am I gonna hiccup? Am I gonna burp? And I keep trying to stop it, and then it's not not going well. I'm sorry. Um, whoops. Sorry to bring that up, but it's what's happening. And you, lovely viewer, have the right to know. You may not want to know, but you have the right to know. Um, oh yeah, I was like, can we can we get to that? Um, and yeah, we can't we can't grow we can't grow across. Oh, we're, we're gonna hear when we do that. We can't go across the swamp. The swamp, even though we can swim, the swamp is too thick for us to. A walkthrough, uh, but luckily we can just ride this uh, lily pad over here. Oops, uh, come over here and get our treasure, which is a kinstone piece. Uh, I'm pretty sure we used a green kinstone when we made that fusion, so another kinstone for a kinstone. Uh, just trading up in the world. Also, you know, knocking kinstone fusions off of our um, our, our things that we needed to do, and also um, we're not going to be able to become. I was gonna say we're not able to become small, but we are, we are currently small. Uh, what I'm trying to say is we're not going to be able to small our way, um, like from here, because I don't remember if there was another spot where we could uh, become a little tiny baby. Oh, we can't actually get up here. Um, 
I'm not sure if we could become a, a little tiny baby person anywhere else in the Castor Wilds. Do not remember. I'm assuming... There's Diggy Hole. I'm assuming um, that that's the one, and maybe we need to make another Kinstone Fusion to make a Lily Pad appear uh, or something. Another... Hey, Lake Lake? Get out of here. Is there... I was going to say, is there nothing in here? I was like, I assume that we'll probably find like a mysterious wall behind one of these since there's like nothing, but I guess there was there was two uh, chests here. Hey, break in stone, some mysterious shells. What's our shells looking like? Uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. I forgot that we were at like close to 600. Now we're still close to 600, but on the opposite end of close where it's we're close but over as opposed to close but under where we were before. Uh, let's bring out our thing. Uh, now we can just run across this, come over here, hop in the water, uh, and we created a little part in uh, the waterfall, which we will be utilizing. Is this just the the three three buzzle three block? No, it's not the three block push that I was expecting. Three block push that I was expecting. Three block push. I'm expecting. Three block push that I was expecting. You know, it, it took a couple tries to find the one where the block would move the way I expected to. That's a thing. I about block like Zelda, like very specifically Zelda block pushing puzzles that I don't like, where it's just like, Haha, which way do you got to push the block, idiot? And it's like, mm, there could be a better way to uh, to um, communicate to the player, telegraph like which way blocks could be pressed. I think would be a useful thing. Anyways, new Swords Master. Swordsmanship is spirit. I am the finest. Maybe second finest swordsman in all of Hyrule Scarblade. Training with me will forever transform your swordsmanship. So, would you like to train here? Please. I would love to train with the finest or maybe second finest swordsman. Yes, then I will teach you how to more quickly unleash your spin attack, which you have already learned. I will take visual visualization training. I take visualiz visualiz visualization 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 training very seriously i'll have you know now quietly close your eyes visualize your sword moving at an unthinkable speed whoa spinning Ugh. <laughs> now you can perform your spin attack much faster my student that is the heart of the sword all begins with belief commit yourself to the blade oh we don't even there's no possession it's just like not bro just swing your sword faster All right. Oh yeah, that, that is, yeah. yeah, it's faster, sure. Sure, okay, okay, buddy. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit faster. But more importantly, that'll give us more um, newsletters to read, ho ho ho. Uh, and I think that was all I wanted to do in the Castor Wilds, Never you found Scarblade. So I think, I think we're good. Um, the only other thing I can do is we could go spin some mysterious seashells, but I think I'll hold off until next time. Maybe we'll open up next um, post done. No, we'll, we'll go. We'll, we'll spend a few before before we're um, before we're done. Because um, I think everything else I wanted to do is um, close to the dungeon. That's not the right button. I will eventually learn the buttons one of these days. Today, unfortunately, not that day. We could run around and do a bunch of kinstone fusions or whatever. I'm not too bothered about that um, at the moment because we'll just we'll just eventually have to just buckle down and uh, get some Kinston Kinston Kinstone fusions uh, done. You know, run around the world, see what's up. Oh, the house is done. Nice house, huh, kid? It's brand spanking new, I tell you. But I need another tenant, a single woman, just like before. Well, if you know any nice young ladies needing a home, let me know. Yeah, oh, fuck you. Don't like you. I missed the the. Holy shit, you just jumped that bridge. That was nothing. Uh, anyways, I'm going to, I guess, spend uh, a couple of our, our things. Oh, hello. Again, I was hoping you'd come back. I made a new figurine and thought you might want to try and get it, trade. So uh, a thing about this that is a little inconvenient is every single time we want to trade uh, Karlov, I believe this character's name is, we have, to, we have to speak to Karlov, then we have to walk over here, and we pull the thing, uh, which is bit of a pain and going to make this take a while uh like you, you know did we really get a dupe we had a two percent chance of getting a dupe but we got a dupe really damn that's lot oh i guess it, it did give us uh, some rupees though so oh whatever i guess because it's 200 ruby 200 rupees 
for 30, but for every dupe, it gives you five. So assuming you spend one, that still doesn't <laughs> come out to uh, enough. Mo Wait, yeah, because that's 150 rupees. So it's a 50. Assuming you only did one shell per draw, that's, you know, a 50 rupee loss. Um, so it's not like we could break even just by making um, things, which obviously the, the idea of this isn't to break even or to economy it out. The thing is like, hey, you're going to go and waste your money. Uh, oh, hey, there are different color Stalfos. Uh, blue ones jump, red ones throw. Interesting. All right, it's a new one. So like, as you can see, this is going to take a while, um, which will make this a pain in the butt when we uh, eventually, one of these days, sit down and buckle up and try and get all of um, the figures. It's going to be a pain. Uh, so it's not, you know, it could be a little bit more convenient to do this process. Uh, and while I was thinking about this, I was thinking about the um, the trophy games. Um, oh, it's Grandpappy. Um <clears throat> Uh, I was thinking about like the, the trophy collecting games uh, from the Smash Brothers series. I don't remember the one in Melee all that well, um, but I can remember the one, or actually the one in Brawl. I think the one in Brawl is the one where you have to hit, the statues fall from the sky and you have to hit them onto either, either side of a stage where there's like a little like landing zone. I think that one's in Melee. Is that maybe a Fours? I can't remember. Um, but Brawl, oh no, no, Brawl has the one where, the Brawl has the great one where it's the coin shooter. Um, I don't know how efficient that one is, but I remember having a lot of fun just playing the coin shooter. Uh, maybe that one's Bailey's. I don't. I don't remember them all off the top of my head. Um, oh, those are those are Beatles. <laughs> all right, <laughs> if you say so, game. Um, oh, there's also like the hard hat Beatles and the spiny beetle enemies. Uh, so there's a lot of damn Beatles in this game. Uh, and just thinking about like the convenience of collecting a figure in a video game. Uh, you know, it's just like. Eh. You know, like, we don't have to play a mini game or anything, but, you know, we talk to the NPC, we walk over, we pull the lever. Uh, it would be nice if this was just a little bit quicker uh, to do. Uh, I suppose I could, like, hit the, like, fast-forward feature on the emulator or whatever, uh, which maybe I'll end up doing when we eventually do, like, the full thing. And I'm not just going to sit here and speak the entire time, because y'all are probably bored as hell just watching me play a gotcha machine. Uh, so I guess, once again, we'll just edit through. And eventually I am going to start using more... Uh, see, sh oh, hey, we got the Goron Merchant. That was a big figure, so it felt like a big get for me. Um, nice. <clears throat> Eventually, we'll probably want to start using more figures. I don't know, like, the math on, like, like, oh, when, like, what probabilities, like, should we up it on? Like, I'll probably start, like, upping it when it gets below 90. I'll probably start using it to just bump it up above 90 uh, until it becomes, like, too low. And, like, you know, it becomes, like, cost inefficient to do that. I can't say that off the cuckoo with the the uh, the exclamation point with a boisterous crow and a cute crest. These feathered friends. I hit the wrong button. Oh, I I do want to know. Okay, I'm, we're gonna learn about the feathered friends, and then then I'm actually gonna cut. I'm actually gonna do it once we learn about our friends, the cuckoo. Wherever they are. Cuckoo. Feathered friends. How do I how do I scroll the how do you scroll the text there? I don't know how to scroll the text there. Whenever I hit A or B, it gets us out of here. Oh, there we go. If I press uh, uh, right or left on the D-pad, it will scroll. Okay. Uh, feathered friends are the most popular pets in Hyrule. These baby chicks. Oh, these baby chicks like small bugs. I, I almost read that as these baby chicks are like small bugs. And I was like, what the fuck? Does, why would you? Okay. Um, but no, they, they like small bugs. Yeah. Which makes sense. We know we, we met to the peep peep, our friend. Uh, and they were our friend because we were small bug and they like small bugs. Uh, but yeah, like if I just had to guess a formula, uh, it's basically probably just like once it become start becoming uh, starts becoming too cost inefficient to up the probability. Um, it's probably just better to just start betting one, hoping for the best. Um, I'll I'll give you all the the real strats once we hit the point in the game where it's like we really need to worry about it. So something I just realized. You can just walk up to the lever and begin the conversation. You don't have to walk back and forth with Karlov every single time. Convenient little thing you can do. Also, just because I didn't point it out, and we're gamers here, and we need to talk about gaming, baby. So we're going to talk about it. The little gotcha capsules are Yoshi eggs. Oh, 
Okay, so this is a neat bit of lore. Uh, when we saw um, the gambling guy, I was like, this guy looks familiar because I forgot that he looked like Karlov. Turns out he is Karlov's younger brother. And he detests gambling, but he opened up a gambling shop, which seems like a bad idea. And do you know why he hates gambling? Because his older brother has a gotcha shop. That's lore, baby. Oh, adding a shell adds 1% to the probability. That's interesting. I know I said I was going to start doing that at 90%, but I didn't. Um, so that's an interesting thing that you could just straight up buy your way to being like... I, I mean, I guess I, I didn't check to see if we could buy our way to 100%. Hey, it's Percy, who we need to go back and check on. I, I will do that. Not next episode, but next uh, in-between Dungeons episodes. Um, let's see if we can just buy our way straight up to a uh, 100 because if that's possible to just you know purchase a 100 yeah we can purchase a 100 percent probability that means once we get to like the very like gritty end tail of it we can just go buy like we can go get a shit ton of money and just like buy our uh, way up to having them all we don't have to uh luck it out okay so that's an interesting um uh strategy to to keep in mind uh rather than playing uh, the luck game we can just uh, buy to win wow <laughs> karlov really has all the like shitty gotcha stuff like built in like you know pay to win and all wow it's surprising that like this you know like this system like obviously gotcha has been around for a long time this system uh just nailed down uh and and uh zelda and 2000 i think this was 2004 2005 i said that at the beginning of the let's play i don't remember anymore though maybe it's 2003 2004 who's to say used to say i said at one point i just don't remember she is descended from a line of oracles and the land of labrina or Le labrina i should learn how to say that i think i always said labrina but who knows how you actually say that okay so they're they're descendants of the oracles asked and answered wow thank you karlov i guess Oh, she is just a famous dancer from the land of Holodrome. Seeing as uh, Nehru was descended, I'm guessing Den is also probably a descendant, but is also just a famous dancer in Holodrome, just like uh, Den, the Oracle of Seasons. As opposed to being the same Den. Because it'd be weird if it was the same Den, but a different Nehru, you know? Hooray, Octorox! Now with the golden Octorok, we have a complete set of the Octorox. Nice! So I got down to uh, 600. I wanted to just lessen our uh, load of mysterious seashells just in case, you know, we ever hit across a big ton of them because I did see that there is a potential for a reward of 300 of them at like a single time. So I just wanted to make sure that we didn't waste any of them. And just to make sure none of our rupees go to waste, we might as well just buy some kin stones as well while we're at it. Uh, Cause you know, we can, we can go ahead and just buy a green kin stone for 50. Uh, how much was bread, though? Because, like, this brioche, like, there's no way it was 50 uh, uh, rupees for a brioche, right? Like, 20. Does that mean, like, sometimes you don't get kinstones when you eat it? And it's just like, yummy bread. You didn't get, yeah, nothing this time. Too bad. What if we just uh, just fill our boy up? Special croissant? It's 30 rupee? Nothing this time. Too bad. How much is this slice of pie? Slice of our fantastic fruit pie, which may or may not have something snacktacular bargain. Um, I would hope that it would have at least some filling inside, if not a kinstone piece. Okay, so interesting. Well, you can just guarantee a kinstone, a green kinstone for uh, 50 rupee, or you can come in here and uh, gamble it for a slice of cake, which has 60 rupee, which we're going to hope we get like a blue out of that, I guess, because like, oh, there's nothing, damn. Well, I wanted to just spend some money just in case. Oh, do you not get your stock of kinstones back? I guess we'll just buy all of them right now. Oh, uh, why the hell not? Because uh, I mean, like, if we... Oh, I know why the hell not. Because I need 200 rupees at the end of this episode. So I can uh, purchase a, um, a Swordsman's Newsletter. Then think about that. Um, I suppose we can always just get more money um, before we leave. And now we have a difficult decision to make. We know that um that the shitty landlord is looking for a tenant but spoilers there are only two houses in this game not all oracles will get to live in a home the other one will stay here at the end uh with their friends 
and I've thought about this. This is a difficult decision for me. We gave Furore a home because Furore, Furore got the short end of the stick in the last uh, few games, two, two games, the Oracle games. So it was like, yeah, okay, Furore gets a home. Now I, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give the home to Den because I think Den is cooler. Uh, Nehru was my favorite back when I did the LP, um, but I have matured, like matured. I'm more mature. Den is cooler. So so sorry sorry Nehru. I hope I hope you still think it's nice when your friend is gone. You're the only one here. Uh, I hate being here all alone. I wish I could find a nice place to live like the other. I'm so this is these are the, the, see this is why we play video games to make difficult moral decisions such as which oracle descendant are you going to give a home? Piece of shit. I have wanted up a sizable pile of cash for my rental properties. Maybe I should start breeding pets next. Moo ha ha! You just can't breed pets. There's way too many dogs and kitties. They, man, what a piece of shit! I don't like that guy. I don't like that guy one bit. What's up, then? Oh, Lunk the Second, thanks for coming. I love this place and I owe it all to you. If you have an empty bottle, I can put one of my homemade charms inside. Just ask me anytime. I'm guessing your charm will give me a super strength. So we'll just go ahead. Oh my god, it changes your color. And also it made like a noise, which I want to I hear that noise again. So yes, please give me a charm for my bottle. Oh, I was about to say, why does it make us this purple pink color when Furore is green? It's because <laughs> Link is already green. So like using it like, yeah, this one will make us red. Um, oh, damn, that means I screwed myself out of the blue clothes. And I like I like the blue clothes, but we have a purple as an option. Um, I like red because or, well, I like the effect from red. Um, I guess we do wear a pink undershirt, which is nice. Um, you want to fuse again? Does. Bray. Bray to you too, Epona. One could assume. Uh. Um. Uh, so nice. I forgot that you could become like different colors. I don't know how long this lasts. Uh, but, you know, we might as well just go ahead and get another charm for our bottle. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll pop this at the beginning of the dungeon and just see how long it lasts. I completely forgot this was a thing. What else was I going to do while we are here? There's some, I think we're done in town? I think we're done in town. Uh, we're going to be wrapping this episode up. It's hard to say how long this episode's been going on for. Because uh, it was like an hour in my other recording. And I'm at an hour and like 20 now, but there's like all the editing to do. Uh, boy, I did give myself editing with those things. Uh, but before we head straight on over, uh, was this, this was a thing we opened by Kinstone Fusions, I believe. Oh, it's just some fairies. Whatever. We don't care about that. Uh, there was um, <clears throat> the, uh, the the tree we opened. Um, okay. Well, now we know how long that lasts. Uh, maybe like a minute or two. Whatever. Oh, I wanted to become Minish while I was in there. Um, uh, that's what I was thinking. Uh, in town, I wanted to become Minish and talk to... Um, I'm going to assume the, uh, the, the Minish who used to live in that spot moved into uh, Din's house when she moved in. Uh, but while we're over here, we'll go ahead and just grab this heart piece because it's it's just right here. We might as well, because um, this is a a thing that'll lead us over to uh, Vale Falls, that area that we we popped into for a moment to go get the chest that appeared um, when we we fused kinstones with Malon, uh, and also just popped in for a heart piece when I was like, "Hey, I didn't see you there." Yeah, that's that's what I was saying for that 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 bit. Um, there's a heart piece over there, but we can just pop in here, grab a heart piece now that we have access to uh, the swimming. Also, some interesting pea hats there that drop bombs on us. Uh, which, hey, spoilers, you don't want to have a bomb dropped on you because it's gonna hurt. And you don't want to be hurt. It's just the way life is. Um, <laughs> I just. I thought about the getting the. Um, what am I doing? I wanted the upgraded one. I just thought about the um, the purple pink link thing when you use Furore, which is really cute because then that means that we can become all the colors of the uh, the the four swords uh, links, which is is nice. Uh, with what they should have done is they should have made uh, Link uh, for this game uh, made it a a purple pink uh, like tunic Link from the get go, and then whenever you find Furore, you can become green, and then that would like make Furore shine even more. Um, after you know being the the uh, the the stepchild, the unloved stepchild, uh, which is a bad metaphor, but a metaphor people use uh, regardless. Um, oh, this did not work out the way I thought it would. Hey, hey, Din, could you smash these for me, please? I can't seem to do anything about them. I'm going to smash your pots and move some shit around in your home. 
Um, but you know, we it'd be it'd be a really interesting thing to have like different colored tunic link. Like you know, obviously Breath of the Wild has done that with the champions uh, tunics and such. Uh, now, but you know, back in two thousand three, four, or five, who knows? Um, you know, being like this is this is pink slash purple links game. Growler, could you move? Thank you. Growler getting in my way was also a problem uh, when we were doing the Cuckoo game. Uh, which, Growler, I love you, but uh, you were in me damn way. Also, this... I don't think this is going to work out the way I thought it would. Okay, maybe this is a thing that we'll come back to later. Because I, I didn't think I could smash those pots when I was small, but I can't pull... I can't pull these. Um, and if I were to push this, I don't think we can push two of them at once. Uh, so this is not happening. I'm gonna I'm gonna go become Minish and try it again just to see if maybe I could smash those and I wasn't trying hard enough. Oh, the pot. Okay, so I smashed the pots when we were big and now they're just gone uh, when we come back. So those are just those pots. We smashed them and then Den went like, "Oh shit, my pots are gone," and just kind of shrugged instead of purchasing or creating new pots. Interesting. And then we can come in here. And, yep, this is our same friend that we saw previously who wants to fuse. Don't know if we fused with them before. Welcome. This is my new house. Ah, don't you just love that new house smell? And I was just thinking about building a new house, so this is great. Well, luckily it worked out for uh, this this Minish, but it doesn't always work out that way. I don't know. We can fuse with you, Town Minish. I cannot absolutely... For y'all, it was this episode, but for me, it was yesterday. How am I supposed to remember yesterday, huh? <laughs> you know? You know? Um, oh, and that made that lily pad uh, in the Castor Wilds. Uh... That I suppose I could immediately run back to and deal with. But it's whatever, you know. I'm going to kick back and I'm, I'm going to go back for it anyways. I was like, I was going to be like, I'm going to be real cool about it. You know, we'll deal with it next time. But I'll forget it exists ne next time. Uh, so I am going to go do that. And also, I guess I'm going to scour the map to see if there's anything that I forgot about. Okay, Hyrule Castle Garden. Let's see what you have to offer us. Uh, let's first become Minish. Um, because... I already spoilers now what's in the uh, bottom of this uh, this little this little hidey hole right here. Uh, so I'm not I'm not gonna be surprised what's in there, and I'm gonna get the surprise for me after we go into this little mouth. I know it's not supposed. To, oh, mysterious seashell. I probably should have assumed that there were 50 mysterious seashells from the other one. I know it's not supposed to be a mouth. I know um, that thing that we just went into. The very top of it is the Triforce, and it's like the the high like high Hylian like family crest, like what we're seeing right here. But the way it looks, it looks like eyes, like the little feet at the bottom of the crust look like eyes for like a big gaping mouth um, <laughs> that we just walk into. Uh, a bit of a, you know, one of those fun, like, this is what I interpret the sprite as. Like, you know, now that I got my 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 adult brain, I can look at things and go, ah, yes, I can I can attempt to understand the artistic intent. It was a piece of art um, down here. Surprise. Um, oh, and hey, before I leave the things kind of make like a little heart like it would have been better if they, they had like lowered this design like one tile and then they could have had like two extra t uh, of those tiles to make a heart and that would have been nice um but you know artistic intent blah 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 whatever i was saying it's probably real smart and cool i would love to fuse ken stone's festari whose name i remembered and didn't forget and can't fuse with you anyways goodbye oh yeah there was water t over here uh where we picked up that first heart piece uh to the right of like festari's home at abby it was like it was called oh i didn't mean to do that not like the bird could come get us and if it did the bird would see us and be like oh that's a little tasty snack not my friend who i'm going to pick up a carry i was a little friend in this house wow good job finding this place there aren't many people who visit me here all right just a little friend to be like oh i'm surprised you found me i assume at some point maybe they'll want to do a, a fusion with us or something uh and that would be cool and stuff uh also i don't know if i ever actually did it but you can cut down these little like nut things which i assume are like bioluminescent or something and light up uh, or maybe they are just nut and they're here to be nut because plant and the minish of the forest live in a forest hey do you want to fuse with me you do want to fuse with me and i can't fuse with you i don't have that one why do you all want that one also here uh, we heard them talking about the Picolite before. Uh, we didn't really understand what Picolite was the first time we were here, but that's the thing that Beetle gives us. So now we know. Hello, indeed. Oh, and you have the one that I have. Thank you, Forest Minish. God, the Forest Minish are so cute. I love the little, like, grass-like robe skirt thing. Uh, it reminds me of the Deku Scrubs, and as we all know, I'm a big proponent of Deku. Oh, we got another lily pad uh, for the Castor Wilds where we're going. Convenient. Um... Uh, that really did work out. Are you the one who wants to fuse multiple times? So I know that there's um, 
There's a Minish somewhere in this game who wants to fuse like a whole bunch of times. Wasn't sure if it would be our friend in the pot. It was not our friend in the pot, however. Oh, 200 rupees. Nice. It's a good thing that I spent a whole bunch of... That's that's a entire Swordsman's newsletter right there. Damn, I'm so glad that I decided to start buying them because I was like, uh-oh, I don't know how tight money's going to be. Um, but hey, it's a convenient way to spend our money, uh, which seems to be piling up fast uh, and let us, instead of letting it build up, which is a problem in a lot of Zelda games where you just hit a point where it's like, well, I don't need money anymore, so whatever. I do not care. Um, and oh boy, speaking of not caring, I I like just realized what time it is, and I'm like, oh boy, I need to like step it up. Um, you know, Sonic. We love Sonic. Um, I, I, I do, I do like Sonic. Sonic's cool. Um, uh, but I, I was thinking, oh wait, actually, no, no, no. I was thinking like, uh-oh, it's going to be a problem because I keep finding more shit that we can do. But the thing I was thinking about us being able to do is coming over here. Uh, we don't really have a way to get, oops, sorry, bird. I don't, I don't, don't exactly. Well, I suppose I could have, I suppose I could have gotten on the bird, but, uh, there are all these like holes for the Minish, uh, but we don't actually have a way of becoming Minish over here yet because it's just stuff in our way, uh, halting our progress towards there. Um, I suppose we, we could go kill the, the golden rope, I guess. Oh, my laundry's done. Hopefully that's not being picked up on the thing. Um, it probably is, knowing, knowing my luck that my dumb microphone, which I have to get, like, super close to my microphone or else my voice sounds terrible. Um, um, uh, uh, I somehow picked that up. I, I managed to finish the thought. I finished the thought. Don't worry. So let's just go kill the golden rope. We can turn we can turn that golden rope into a newsletter. So why not? Oh, it was a golden octrock. I thought it was a golden rope over here for some reason. I guess I I forgot what had appeared because, like I said, the, the break I took after getting uh the the flippies. Uh, and I just remember the other rope spawning in that we killed by Eeny Meeny's uh, garden. Um, uh, so whoops, was that still two hundred rupees? Okay, blue was still two hundred rupees. We confuse with the forest minish here, which means I'm going to have to backtrack through because I know what this forest minish is because I saw it when I was preparing my thing. It's gonna... You remember, the, when you see those, it makes the beanstalk. So now I got to run back to the place where I just was. Damn it, so we can climb up the beanstalk. But I, that should mean that we don't need to come back to the wind runes. I, I guess I can't... Uh, confidently say that we probably will have to return because some treasure chest will appear whenever um we make a, a kinstone fusion with uh with a minish uh which will probably mean i'll end up coming back here i guess we don't need to open up all the damn um treasure chests in the game like as long as we're able to do you know assuming that i do end up going for completion which i think i am g going to at this point um just because, oh damn i forgot how nice it looks whenever you're climbing you get to see the, the shot of the mountains in the distance so nice we come up here what is this Oh, the large quiver. Now we can carry more arrows. Is this the max arrow in the game? I think you can actually upgrade. S sorry, spoilers. I think we can upgrade the arrows one more time. I think you I think you can hit a max of 99 in this game, which is a whole lot of arrows. And you don't need them because obviously it's an optional thing to upgrade the uh, quiver capacity. So like the game's never going to be in a state where it's like, well, you needed 31 arrows. You're shit out of luck because you didn't get any uh, upgrades. You should have uh, explored more. Um, you know, that's just not how you design video games and stuff. Um, because it's like, hey, you put in these optional things. And I mean, you can d design a video game where like something that would seemingly be optional in a different game is in fact not optional. Um, not to, you know, hark on a, a game for being like that. Um, hey, hey, games are different. You never know what a, what a game's going to be like. But, you know, typically with these Nintendo Zelda baby games, they're not going to be designed that way. Uh, so we're just going to be end up with just an absolute embarrassment of arrows just more arrows than you could ever believe even exist in the the cycles on these are very annoying where they uh, respawn like to their they have like a set like position that they start in uh and they're like their cycle is just timed just so that we're able to like walk on over Oh, and we jump into these puddles. That's very cute that we uh, swim across uh, these puddles because we were told, you know, tiny puddle, uh, a tiny puddle to us is uh, a lake for uh, the Minish. But it's very cute for these, like, what seem like that would be, like, stylistically um, uh, just kind of, like, here for, like, window dressing. You end up swimming through. Very nice. Uh, and luckily, this one uh, wasn't on the meanest timer. It was already kind of coming back by the time we got over here. 
but I assume it's going to start off to the left, meaning we'll have to wait for it after we get this red kin stone. How did I guess that one? Did I know it? Like I knew, no, I, 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 oh, I, I, I just guessed that one. I, I did just get lucky with that one. I wasn't being a, oh, I, I was like, what is hurting me? Uh, but there, there are spikes. There, there are like spiked little like <clears throat> bramblies that I was just like not even seeing because I was just like, I need to get down from here. Rope, can you, thank you, thank you, Rope. Because I need to get on through here because as we saw, there was like some tiny baby holes that we needed to uh, explore. Can we climb up these as... No, we cannot climb up those. That's good. That means that's a less floor in the... There's a treasure chest up there. How did I never get that treasure chest? Is that just an area we couldn't get to when we were here? Oh, we needed to we needed to kill an Igor. Interesting, interesting. Well, I I guess I can check it out after I become unsmalled, bigged, normal sized, whatever you want to say. It doesn't really matter. I guess I can go grab that, that treasure chest while I'm here. You know, screw it. Whatever, you know. We're we're here. We're gonna do it. Um we got, we got a little maze where it's going to like, we can't see the end of the maze, obviously. So we just got to pick a direction and then go for it. Um, we'll come back for that chest. Oh, we got these Pinchy Boys. The Pinchy Boys who y'all know the names of, I don't. Oh, damn. I wanted to get that spin attack off. Uh, it just did not work out that way. The spin attack is so funny because I, I tend to not use the spin attack unless I kind of feel like the need to use it uh, in um, 2D Zelda games. But in the 3D ones, I guess more specifically... Um, you know, like Ocarina, Majora's Mask. Um, I I love the spin attack in that game because it's it deals more damage and you can get it off so fast in that game because you can um, you can get off a quick spin attack by just uh, hitting the sword button and then rotating the stick, which makes it a real easy fast attack to get off. Now, obviously, I've learned a little bit about like um, the N64 Zelda games like speed running potential since then, and like apparently it's real easy to like do more damage by like doing a jump slash which is i guess the most damage you can do and then um swapping over to a deku stick which because of some glitch or whatever um uh it instead of having like its own set damage it deals it deals the last amount of damage dealt so if you do like a big attack that deals a lot of damage and then switch to stick the stick's going to do a shit ton of damage uh which is why people use the stick and also the the crouch stabbing is like the fastest way you can deal dps in the game uh, whereas like I, I've always just done the quick spin attack because I think it's it's fun and cool. Um, but you know, knowing the tech behind it is interesting. Uh, and we got some stuff in there. I think there was a piece of heart. I was not even paying attention. I was just I was so in the zone being like, Zelda, let's talk let's talk about Zelda baby that I was <laughs> I was so distracted about talking about Zelda that I wasn't paying attention to playing Zelda. And that's when you know you've gotten in the zone the gaming zone you son of a bitch i hate these lily pads they're on such bad timers oh why must you do this to me if 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 it, if it were up to me these damn things would not be on timers they would just be our friends who wait for us and then you get on them and then they would go and that would be nice and because they don't do that i've decided this game is actually bad sorry people who've been enjoying this video game but it's bad, actually. And uh, we're all just going to have to live with the knowledge that this game is bad, actually. And Igor, this Igor is about to get so dunked on. Hey, hey, buddy. You need to come down first. Come down. Yeah, you take a step down, and now you can get to me. But I, but yeah, Igor is going to get dunked on because I have 70 arrows. So there was nothing it could have ever done to hope to defeat us. And thank you for the Kinstone piece. And that made two rupee like spawning. Interesting. I'll, I'll go ahead and take the 40 rupees. Why, why not? Um, I think with that, that was everything we needed. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting that the map screen is on here. I think that was everything in the cast or runes we could do. Okay, so we're good. We're good to finally make our way over. Oh, boy. Now, this is going to be an episode, ain't it? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I could end up splitting this into two episodes. But I'm not gonna. I already said that it makes my brain feel good to do it this way. And y'all are at the whims of my brain. Oh, hey, there's a... I mean, you, you, you're not, because you could stop watching this anytime and say, wow, that guy sucks. Um, but but to prove that I don't suck... Hello, Fifi. I'll give... One of the... I was going to mime out petting Fifi like by doing that, but if I get close to Fifi, I can't... Is there, is there another item I could use to mime petting Fifi? Uh, I mean, we could play fetch. Go fetch, Fifi! Oh my god, is Fifi fetch or was... No, that was just... That was just luck that Fifi went after it. Okay, well, Fifi doesn't want to play fetch. Um, 
but we can we can pet Fifi. Here we go. Is no, because A speaks. Sword. Uh, okay, here's what we do. We can pet Fifi. That's not not really the petting. There, that's that's good enough. We, we pet Fifi. Problem solved. See, I'm not I'm not a mean guy after all. I'm very nice and and cool, uh, and I don't have any damn green kinstones. Wow. We really went through those damn green kinstones, didn't we? Um, also, I go slaying about flippers. Uh, you can only get off at certain points. And I put this heart piece there just to toy with you because you're like, oh, it's right there, free, free heart piece. Uh, and then you get it there and you're like, oh, well, that sucks. Uh, luckily, though, they do give us a, a freebie if we come down here uh, to make up for it, like being like, oh, well, you can't have that one. Hee hee hee. But, but, uh, I'm going to swap my. I think over because otherwise I'll I'll just get bonked by these uh, these these friends who they're they're not actually our friends these are, these are enemies who would want to do harm to us if they got their way thank you for the money I wanted to come over here just so we could push this rock which will make well I was gonna say make getting around here a little bit more convenient but we can swim now it's not really that big a deal uh, we can come in here and we have another piece of, and also a master but I wanted to grab a piece of heart because I was running right past it, straight to the master. You have found the true master swordsman of Hyrule, a wave blade. If you train with me, I will teach you skills that will make you a master. So, would you like to train here? I would love to be a master. None of the other masters have given me the option of becoming a master myself. Now you will learn a dangerous technique for desperate times. The peril beam. First, you must have only one heart left. Second, use your last ounce of strength to swing your sword. That's all, young swordsman. Do you understand? Yes. So... There is no turning back now, for one must feel this technique, not just to hear about it. That's why I must now possess your body, so as to demonstrate the technique. This is the Wayblade Possession Technique of Training. Watch this Erg Possession. And then he's going to possess us and then make Lonk stab himself until he's at one heart. He doesn't need to do that. Phew, now you must try it for yourself. When you have only one heart left, swing the sword with the last of your waning strength. Now there goes all our health. And then we get a sword beam. So... Uh, typically in Legend of Zelda games, there is a move whenever you get like a powered up sword or such. Normally you get like the Master Sword, you know, level 2 sword. Uh, whenever you're at full health, um, you can shoot a sword beam. This technique is the inverse of, I was going to say opposite, but the opposite would be when you're at no health, no sword come out. So the opposite of sword beam is death, I guess. I could think about that a little bit harder and maybe come up with a different answer, but I'm not going to. But, you know, it's just whenever you have one heart, you can shoot a sword beam, which is an interesting move. Like a little, like, last-minute desperation gamble. Oh, I was going to say we need to become Minish before we come over here, but I forgot that the um, the template, Temple of Droplets itself is a spot where we can become small. It's not that we need to become small and wander over to this crack. This is a magical crack that we'll be able to shrink ourselves into uh, and go into the temple. So that is finally the episode. Boy, I am... Sorry, but hopefully y'all had fun, uh, and we did a lot of stuff. We got a lot of stuff done. I'm sorry for doing all of these things in between episodes instead of breaking it up into multiple episodes, but they're the timestamps on the thing, so you can break it up into multiple episodes yourself. These timestamps have driven me wild with power. I will no longer apologize. That's the end of the episode. Just kidding. You know what's left. This is the Swordsman Newsletter number three. Swordsman Newsletter number three. Got a bone to pick? You're sure to run into more than a few skeletons on your journey. That's why this week's newsletter is dedicated to all you bone breakers. A good solid whack to the head should do the trick. That's their weak spot. Try smacking them with a beam from your cane, a pocky, and or a pachi eye swift blade. Also unsure about the pronunciation. You should also try your gust jar. That head should pop just right off. Just pop right off. I swift blade also cannot read that well. They go all to pieces once they lose their head. Teach us, teacher, those darn bombs. If you hit them with your sword, they'll run all over the place and explode. But don't you worry. This newsletter is here to teach you how to cope. Huh, your best bet is arrows. Um, one shot can take them down. I'm done doing that. You can fire from a safe distance, too. There's also your gust jar. Draw them in and shoot them out. They'll even blow up whatever they hit. Swift Blade's gossip column. Light arrows are amazing. They go through grass. They fell a monster with one strike. They're handy. They're dandy. They're a super duper ultra item. Or so it seems. But it's just a rumor. 
Swiftblade signing off. We've got more reader mail this week. Hey, Swiftblade, how many siblings do you have? There are nine of us, not counting the ghost of Swiftblade the first. I'm the oldest, but again, that's if you don't count Swiftblade the first. See you in issue four. Until next time, warriors.